Uh, too bad Mike's wrong. You have to tweet that we're live because we are live. Ultra Podcast Z episode what? 40. No, we're episode 50, 56. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I know, like, I gotta start with that, gotta start with that uh, you know, that mistake. You know, we're that podcast that brings you the best of Japanese pop culture from the internet to you. But this episode's a little different because I, I think everything has the most tenuous grasp to Japanese pop culture. But I, I guarantee you. I will make it work. As always, I'm Manuel, leader of AJ Connections. And Konaro, you've been missing MIA for two weeks. Yes. Yes. Introduce yourself, Konaro. I've been missing. Okay. Hi, guys. My name is Konando Osuna, the Biggie Kitty. Um, I do idol stuff, and I run an idol festival. I also run Overseas Idol Collection. And I do a whole bunch of other things, and I'm really tired because I just took my heart medication. Nice to meet you. That's the way And um, our, like, perpetual last minute co-host i swear uh we'll go over that in a second actually it's but okay. honestly she's perfect for this one that we're doing yeah so it's, it's, it's jasmine go to introduce yourself jasmine jasmine i do um you know i hang out i write articles sometimes i i do lots of cosplay stuff i follow follow lots of idols and uh yes let's let's get started yes <laughs> My name is Jared. I'm 19, and I never learned how to fucking read. Um, Welcome to Chili's. No, it's, it's funny because like I remember when we had a uh, when we had Max on. She introduced herself with that, with the hi. But I think she she changed it to her. She's hi, like, hi, I'm Maxine. I'm whatever. Uh, like 19, 20. I don't know how old she is actually. Um, and it's like I never learned how to fucking read. So yeah. Anyway. Um, so yeah, as I was saying, Jasmine's joining us again last minute. It's funny because uh, I- I'm very anal about the host. Of, you know you know this. So I keep track of who hosts everything. And I counted yours again. So you've been on. This is the sixth time you've been on. So you're literally only second to Heidi right now. And you're equal to Tiffany. Oh. So, and, and, like, and I was telling you this because, like, you were on, like, we told you this morning. Like, literally this morning. Yeah. Yeah. No, it was like, la- well, it was like this morning at, like, what was like early, like yeah. 2 a.m. or something, 1 a.m. <laughs> and I was like, I just got tagged in something. What's going on? <laughs> no, it's oh, so... you know what it is. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's like, you know, it's the podcast. And it's so funny because, like, um, that's usually, I don't, except for the conspiracy theories one, I don't think you've ever been, like, really scheduled to be on. It's just, you know, um,. It just, you know, you just replace someone, which is so weird because I think there was even a time when you were supposed to replace someone else. But I was like, I didn't, not that I didn't want you on, but I'm like, I feel like we've called in Jasmine for every replacement. <laughs> I'm just like, I don't want you to be just the replacement person. So, uh, so yeah, I did it. But, um, yeah, you've been on a lot. Anyway, anyway, uh, topics. What topics do we have? I don't think we really have a topic that we're going to, like, try to list off here. If I feel into it later on, if you're on YouTube, uh, obviously you'll know if I didn't, but <laughs> if I feel into it on YouTube, <laughs> um, I might list topics, like just a bunch of text over my face about what we did talk about after the fact. Um, <laughs> but I don't know what we're talking about. I know we're talking about memes. We're going to talk about um, r slash title parents, you know, some Reddit stories, a lot of other nonsense. Uh, last week, God, last week's podcast... It was, it was oh, yeah, a lot. Let's review, I, let's review last week's podcast. I don't know if oh, I boy. want to because, like, I kind of, I kind of sat on it for a while. Okay, for those who don't know, I'll have a link to it below. Everything, all that nonsense. But last week, I was on with Maniac from Homicidals dot com, and Derek, who has a lot of credits, he chose to to tell to like have us credit him as a uh, the assistant to the Necronom Idol producer. And as the co-host of 48 Talk. But I don't know if he wanted to distance himself from it. Because he mentioned it a lot. But, like, I wanted to credit him as being, like, you know, uh, the organizer of East Meets West Music Festival. Which, of course, is... Yeah. Which is how... It makes sense. Yeah. Which is how we got to know him. <laughs> but that's how I know him. I mean... So, and I, I'm not going to lie. I'll be straight up with you. I didn't even know he was on a podcast until I knew that. Yeah, I didn't know that. I didn't know he was on a podcast until well, he told me. Late. Damn. Um also I learned that we <laughs> that what we need to do from now on is talk about BNK forty eight because apparently they get you a crap ton of views. Um Okay, good, because I always oh, love talking talk about, about 
Yeah, we can talk about the AK-14. <laughs> we, <like>. Yeah. <laughs> we, we all love uh, shop crying and music. Like, oh my god. Have you seen their new trailer for we, Beginner? Oh, for Beginner? Yes. Yeah, yeah. I saw it too. <gasps> so good. So good. Yeah, so good. Like, I already know that if we talk about MNL48, we get a lot of fans, but apparently the the real money is in, uh, in BNK and, and you know, the, the Thai the AKB fans, or Thai 48G fans, I should say. Um... Yeah. So yeah, that that's a thing, but I don't know when when we did the we did that podcast. Um, now I want to state this, but even now, I have nothing personal negative to really say about Derek. But I feel that like that was the most that was the most tooth that was the I can't even see I can't even talk. That's how toothless it was. That was the most toothless podcast we've ever done ever before. The one you would think would devolve into drama of some sort, have the heart hitting questions. It didn't, none of it happened. I mean, we fight more than fucking we did on that podcast. Like, Konara and I fight all the damn time. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Actually, no, we don't. We playfully tease each other. But, like, I don't know. Like, I, 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 I was disappointed with it too. I, I don't know if anyone else was. I don't think anyone was. I think they kind of liked it. Well, dang, if you wanted drama, why didn't you just start it? Oh, wait, you no, kind of did. I, I kind of did. Uh, the problem <laughs> is, like, I, I don't want to bring up politics. No one's going to watch this anyway. Uh, we're going to get, like, we're going to get, like, all these views. No, because the podcast has been very popular lately. And I, I'm not, like, okay, I shouldn't say that. It's been, relatively speaking, really popular. Like, we have a very consistent number of fans, I'm positive, on YouTube, who, like, will watch the entire thing. But I'm pretty sure that somebody's going to tune in, like, oh, it's one of those episodes. We did, we do this a couple times. And I can always tell when the numbers either dip, yeah. or when you could see, instead of, like, a nice, like, graph that goes to the very end there are some podcasts we have that no one has ever watched to the very end because <laughs> you can just see it like it drops anyway this will be one of those and hopefully people start tuning it's in okay. live by the way the chat's open it says three people i don't know if it's just us again we made that joke earlier <laughs> yeah really <laughs> we made that joke earlier about like you know the uh the meme with like the bird is like you know with my, my my two friends who only comment on or the only to comment on my things and I, I feel like that's us right now. But anyway, um, I, I, sorry, I got really psyched. That was a really long uh, deviation there. Uh, no one's going to watch it, so I, I'm going to say this. Um, like, you ever watch, like, when, when like, Trump gets interviewed, like, on, on by someone, and nobody ever asks, like, the really hard questions? And, you all, and like, inside my head, I'm like, yeah. like, just, like, obviously he says whatever the fuck he wants. Just say what what everyone wants to hear answered, um, and or like he'll give a crazy answer, but nobody will follow it up. I kind of get why you do that now, because if I would have started drama on the podcast with Derek, I would have been the bad guy. It would have been very easily like, oh god, like Manuel really does just hate everyone, you know? He really does, you know? He yeah, really, exactly. Yeah, he really just can't get along with anyone. Um, I'm not saying that was intentional on Derek's part. I, I honestly think that we had different motivations. Oh my god, there's a cricket on my wall. I killed a brown recluse earlier. There is a fucking cricket, a very huge cricket on my wall. I don't know. Okay. I hope, I hope it kills you. No. Um, I have a problem with crickets. I don't know what draws crickets. <laughs> but like, every so often a cricket will wander into my... Well, I, I never see. I'm like, there has to be a nest in my room. It's funny because I've actually like I've been in the process of kind of moving a bit, so I, it's actually really empty here now. I don't know where the fuck they can be, but every so often a cricket will wander in. It'll just like it'll make all this noise. Now the thing is, usually I find the cricket and I kill it, but <laughs> there's always new ones. And there's a fucking cricket right up there. He's gonna crawl above me and fall on me during the podcast. I'm gonna scream like an idiot. It's gonna be great. Sorry, I'm just. Like I, I wish there was a way for me to like show you how creeped out I am. The fucking cricket right there in the corner. Anyway, um. Anyway, so what, were, what did you guys think of the podcast? Before I, I, I totally forgot what I was saying. I'm sorry, but I went to Peru. What, like, did, what did you think? I of the tuned podcast? in like a little bit. I like tuned in a little bit because I was like, oh snap, the podcast is live. Like this is the smackdown of the century. <laughs> and like I was in the middle of like TGA Night Fridays and I had a really bad service and I was like, <laughs> me. Uh, <laughs> uh, this is not going to work. I will say this though. But I did like, 
Go ahead. I did hear a little bit when you guys started talking about. I think I heard like a little like snippet of that part when you guys were talking about Vic. And I oh, was like, how'd you know what I was gonna? How'd you know what I was gonna say? <laughs> I didn't know you say it yet. <laughs> that whole part. Okay, let me be honest. That whole part was like pretty yikes. No. Okay. I want to address this now because, um, real talk, for those of you who know me personally, you might be, because I, I never said this on the A to J social media, I never did, but for those who know me personally, you might know that I int- int- initially wanted this episode to be a Vic episode, and there's two reasons why I didn't do that. The first is, um, it kind of died down, actually a new article came up, so I kind of wish we did after all, but it kind of died down, so I didn't want to be that beating the dead horse thing, because I'm like... Now we just look like we're like we're digging up an old thing to make drama again. Um, but I, I didn't have ulterior motives per se. Like I wanted to do it because of YouTube. Oh my god! I swear to God. Um, I, I don't get me wrong. I'm pretty sure a handful of them, like the very very right right wing, um, you know, anti SJW people, like the quartering and other YouTubers, are pro Vic. But all of YouTube, I swear to God, realize, hey, if we talk about Vic, we're gonna get a ton of views, and all of his fans will sub us. Exactly. Just like, just like B and K. No, it's like, like yeah. Same, like, no, uh, you know, like B and K, but you know what I mean. Yeah. Like, the same, like. No, <laughs> yeah. I, I social the same bladed. concept of talking about the same concept about talking about something that's currently popular. Yeah. Yeah. Like I social bladed some of these YouTubers that I saw, and some of their videos have like hundreds of thousands of views. And no joke, there were a couple that had like a hundred and thirty some odd subs, like the week before. And now they're like coasting wow. on about five thousand. Yeah, I mean they're still not huge, but they got like thousands of subs, and they got one video that has like inching towards half a million views. Um, Jeez. So it's like, oh my god, it's like so. I, I think that's most of it. Um, but the problem in the podcast, and I want to discuss this because, um, oh my god, for those of you who watched on YouTube, um, the chat on Twitch was pretty interesting during the Vic part too. Uh, now, I brought it up, I honestly didn't think we were going to talk about it. I brought it up in the midst of our news segment, which I think we skipped in this one for some reason. Um, but, like, I, we always do, like, a little news <laughs> roundup about, like, you know, just one or two big stories. And obviously, the biggest story at the time was Vic. Um, you couldn't avoid it. If you're in anything, like, Japanese co- pop culture convention anime doesn't matter what the fuck you're into if you're into like this little yeah. thing you heard about it and you probably had an opinion one way or the other um but it's funny because like okay but it's funny because i talk because when i'm on facebook i see a lot of people like talking about it and they're like who's vic what is this like who's i don't vic know Mignana or- Mignana. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, who is this, and why should I believe this anyways? And, like, I see a lot of that, so I don't know about that being so true. Well, I mean, okay, well, actually know about maybe it. if you didn't know who he was, you still heard the story. Um, now, yeah, now, no, that, that I agree to. No, that was the thing, though. That was the part that I that bothered me, because it's pretty obvious that Derek didn't know it, didn't know who it was, and Maniac, I don't think, I don't think Maniac even said anything, because we, we, we I didn't intend to talk Maybe about. I no, I didn't he intend. Didn't care. If you go back and you watch, I even watched it myself after the fact. I'm like, I didn't mean to drag it on that long, but I, I said it, and I wanted to move on. But then Derek was Derek was that guy, and this this is the <laughs> one thing. No, I mean, I, I stand by what I said earlier. I don't have anything against him because I I don't know if he'll, I don't think he'll watch this anymore. But just in the case, I have nothing against him. Personally, on a personal level, like I don't hate the guy. I think he's pretty cool in most respects, and so on. But this one thing I, I do have issue with. Um, he was that guy where he's all like, "Oh, I have. There's no oh, real evidence." Dang. Yeah, and I, and he brought up all the, the no evidence thing. Like, like they're, they're trying to bring him down and all this. I'm like, oh my god. And then, uh, in meanwhile, in the chat, that one Moon Doggy guy, which funny enough, um. I'll, I'll kind of soft call this guy out because he used to watch us like religiously back in the day. Like Konari might be me- might remember him. He used to watch us like I kind of do. Yeah, from like episode like from the very early days until about episode twenty something or whatever. Whenever we talked about Derek, funny enough, and then he stopped watching us, and he left all those comments on YouTube. But uh, and in the chat, he was just like, oh. Just, you know, all this SJW stuff, bringing down Vic. You know, there's not even any evidence, ruining a man's career. 
And then, like, Derek was all like, oh, yeah, and then some of them have proven to be liars, and so on. I'm like, oh, hell no. I'm not, like, I was willing to drop it, but I'm not letting it end on that note. <laughs> so I brought it back around. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so I brought it back around to, like, you guys don't even know. It's like, if you're from the con scene, this has been, like, like, when I entered the con scene, that was already the rumor. Like, I was not doing A to J. I did not know who Vic was. That, like it was already like oh he's that creeper voice actor guy who has all the, the little the little thirteen year old girls flocking around him, and I can't find it because fucking the internet now about Vic is so flooded I can't find it anymore. Um, but there used to be a Tumblr blog about people who would have sex with him. I don't know if it's true, and I can't find it. I can't even have, show any evidence. But this is like like uh, my ex girlfriend from like ages ago. She didn't like Vic at all for reasons I don't really know. Um, and maybe she had an encounter with them. I, I never really found out. Anyway, she found this blog and she was showing it to me. Now, to be totally fair, the whole point of the blog was it was consensual sex, obviously. But some of them were very obviously underage yeah. in what they were saying. But it was literally a blog telling you how to fuck Vic and to share your stories. Like, his what? friends. Yeah. And, like... I'm pretty sure two things are are happening. One, it's gone because either they deleted it ages ago, or it would have been gone through the whole Tumblr thing that you know um, that happened a few years back. I mean, a few years back, a few months back. Sorry, you know when they purged all the adult content or whatever. And um, yeah, yeah. Or two. Yeah, I probably got purged. Yeah. Too. Or two. Even if it's still there, try searching up Vic sex, whatever the fuck. It's really hard to find anything these days because... Okay, I'm gonna look it up. Fix sex, whatever the fuck. <laughs> it's really hard to find anything. Oh my god. It's a direct quote from like, by the one way, of the block. <laughs> by the way, I, I don't know I don't know if like Moondoggy was watching in secret or something, but we, we, we there was a third person. Oh no, it's probably Konaro leaving. <laughs> Did you leave Twitch? No. Oh no, see? Somebody left. <laughs> now, now it really is just us. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody left. We scared them away. Oh, bless. Oh god. Anyway, now no now officially no one is watching us. Um but no, I don't know. Like we'll, we'll leave it there because I really don't want to make this into the the new Vic podcast that wasn't my intention even bringing it up. But anyway, you know, we'll just we'll just leave the we'll leave all the discussion of that podcast. Anyway, Most of yeah, it, it, it's a popular podcast on YouTube, um, and I think it's one of those that'll keep being popular because we we talked about Necroma a lot, and they're another group that gets a lot of like in, uh, attention online. Um, but I don't want to talk about any more drama things in general because there's a lot of drama that some of it I inserted myself into. I'll be real, but there's other drama that like just developed that I just, I really don't want to get into because I'm so done with it, which is why I was trying to have a fun podcast here. Anyways, how about memes? Uh, <laughs> what's uh no no what's the current meme no no you know, what, you know this isn't really a meme but you know what, you know what the biggest story i think right now is or let me rephrase it the biggest story last week more like last week was because that video dropped the night of the podcast and i watched it before the podcast and i tried to bring it up briefly but like you can tell fucking Derek and Maniac don't watch Shane Dawson. But the big story is... Oh, my God! The big, oh, yes, my God. The big story is... Uh, d- does Chuck E. Cheese... I'm getting off my phone. Yes, does Chuck E. Cheese recycle their pizza? Um, Because, like, the world needs to know. Now, I'll be honest... The world with, does okay, need to know. I'm going to tell you two stories here. Now, I wish I would have dug them out because I, I, I left them back there. One of my cousins used to work for Chuck E. Cheese. This was ages ago. Like, when I was still in high school, and we were both still in high school. Me and my cousin are about the same age. We were both in high school. And this is like a high school, like, summer job type thing. And she went to Chuck E. Cheese. And she used to hook us up with tokens. And when I say hook us, hook us up with tokens, she would work the door where they, like, stamp your hands for the kids or whatever. And, uh... Yeah, yeah. And she, and. W- the way our local Chuck E. Cheese worked was there was two lanes for this. I guess for, like, to design people in there. There's two lanes, and she would turn left or right. Ideally, there'd be two people working the, the section on either side. But if she's by herself, she would turn left or right. And what she would always do, and we knew this, like, she wouldn't do it at work. What we would always do is, like, when we were checking in, we would just snatch her cup of tokens. Because, um, 
I don't know if they still do this. I don't know how Chuck E. Cheese really works anymore. But back then, you walked in, and they would give you, like, two tokens. Like, just, here you go. Like, almost like trying to get, like, a drug... A... I think they gave you... I, I think they give you one. Also, can we talk about how Chuck E. Cheese is, like, the beginning of kids gambling? No, exactly! I was gonna bring that up! Because that... <laughs> no, that thing about giving you tokens as you walk in is a very drug dealer type move. That is such a drug dealer type move right there. It's like, here's your free yeah, sample... Oh, what are you trying to say? <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I could say a lot of things. Anyway, but am I going no. to on this podcast? Probably not. Damn, because I was bringing the dirt, and no one's gonna, no one watched that. Good. Okay. So anyway, <laughs> <laughs> no. So you, you you get your two free tokens. You put them into your fucking skee ball game. You win your ten tickets, and you're like, oh shit, that fucking whistle that I want is five hundred. I need to go bug mom for like five dollars in tokens and keep bugging them for the next three hours. No, it really is. Like that's such a that's such yeah, a... spend your tokens to win more tokens. Exactly. That's... <laughs> no, that's exactly... you have to put into like the push thing. Where, yeah, like... the thing that put. Oh my god. Oh, I hated that. I hated that. Dude. And no, that is straight up gambling. And I, I'm not gonna lie. When I was younger, I was obsessed with that too. But like. I'm st- <laughs> with it it's disgusting oh i hate it so much um dude did i i don't know if i told you but like i did the same thing with like the the push the where you put the coin in and it just goes and everything yeah like pushes the, the stuff down yeah 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 so it is something similar in japan but instead of like tickets or tokens or like money or yen or whatever I literally just got a whole bunch of like candy yeah same, no i was just saying same concept <laughs> I hated it. But, so the way it worked, we would just, I would snatch the cup. Of, I, I did it at least twice myself, personally. But, like, our family would just do this. We snatched a cup of tokens. And then every, every so often, it's like, hey, we need more. So we'd leave, like, we'd go outside. And then we'd, like, just pretend we we're, like, talking to someone or, or whatever. Then we come back in and we snatch another cup. And I still have, like, a bag full of tokens to this day. Um, from, from the, like, you literally... You can't from, use them. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they either change their token things, or whatever. I don't think they, they look very... I, I had, like, I, and it's one of those things, because I have a huge bag of them. Every so often, like, a couple spill out, and I, I keep finding them around. I'm pretty sure if I have one somewhere. I'm like, like, how the Chuck E. Cheese token get out? But, um, and, <laughs> no, a while back, I tried to go to Chuck E. Cheese with Kaz. And this kind of ties on with, this kind of ties in with the Shane Dawson thing. Did you know you can't go to Chuck E. Cheese without a kid? Yeah. What's the actually, age cap? Actually, it depends on the location, too. Yeah, um, I, and apparently, it's funny you bring that up, because I actually tried to Google it. There actually is no official rule to it. It's kind of like a, one of those unspoken things. Um, it depends It depends on the location, because the one down, my, my, down the street from me doesn't do it, but another one in town that does it. No, it, it's funny because I, I don't know if you guys. Uh, well, this, this was definitely a national ad campaign. It's not. It's not that new. It's like three or four years ago. But there was an ad campaign for like. Admittedly, it was just women, but there was an ad campaign for adults going to Chuck E. Cheese as like a party thing. You know, to kind of be just different. I don't know how else to put that. Um, yeah. There, there really was, and it was. And it was a weird commercial because it was like all these like these like moms without their kids though. It was like all these moms there. Who are all checking out the checking out the servers or whatever? But that server's probably in high school. It's like that's just creepy. But uh, <laughs> why don't they just go to Dave and Buster's? That's exactly. Like the adult check no. Yeah. So I think that I think that's what the thing is. That I guess they might be feeling the bite of Dave and Buster's. So there was an ad campaign. Like I want to say like three years ago or so. So I thought that oh that means we can walk into Chuck E. Cheese, and it wasn't just like me and a bunch of my bros. It was like me and Kaz. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and. Uh, yeah, we, we couldn't get in. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, that's a bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Starts bad camping. No, it's like, I fucking want to go to Chuck E. Cheese. Now, the reason I bring it up is, like, part of me wants to think that the entire Shane Dawson segment is, is staged. Because. No. No. It's not. Okay, let me, let me tell you. Let me tell you. No, 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 let me, let me tell you. Because. That Chuck E. Cheese isn't the one we got banned. We got banned. I was like, <laughs> we didn't get banned. We didn't get banned. It wasn't that. Chuck- it wasn't that Chuck E. Cheese that we that we didn't get to go into. But I know that location. 
Like, I, I've been there before. Like, um, it's pretty close to me. Well, it's not that close. But it's, like, it's within reasonable distance. Um, There's no such thing as reasonable distance in California. Because, like, everything's an hour or two away from each other. But, like, everything is an hour or two away from each other. Like, you can, you can go, like, to the valley yeah. in about an hour or two. Or you could fucking go to the next city over and it's an hour or two because of traffic. So, uh, <laughs> it's relative. Uh, but... The point is, I know the location he went to, and I really, I, I really doubt that he would be able to get in that easily with no fuss. Um, somebody would have said something. I'm positive because this seems to be a normal thing down here. Because I talked to many people, and uh, and also, I if you read some of the comments, some people even pointed that out. Like how'd they get in? You know, um, I've but... been trying for years. <laughs> no, exactly. <laughs> And he's with his two, he was, it was just like three guys with with a fucking camera. It was like three guys with a camera or whatever the fuck. It's like I'm sorry, like that kind of that would set off like way more red flags than like, um, like me and Kaz or some shit. Like you know, like I can't think of any other examples. Like I keep saying me and Kaz is the only thing I can think of. But um, I read stories about like high school people trying to go for like their like their party, like to have a legit party there. But it's like oh, we're too oh, old. Yeah. We, we need kids. Um. So yeah, it's like I don't get it. It's like I think that's suspect to begin with. Um, and let's be real here. Um, we all know that Shane Dawson gets paid a crap ton of money, whatever he talks about. And I wouldn't be surprised if it's all one big Chuck E. Cheese ad campaign. Now that's a conspiracy probably... theory. No, that's a conspiracy theory right there. <laughs> that is a conspiracy theory. No, okay, because real talk. Um, no, I don't want to say like, oh, I was in on it first, but I. Um, I watched the video when it had like only a couple hundred views because I saw it like when as it popped up, and as soon as I got to the Chuck E. Cheese thing, I googled it, and there were only like, okay, the post that he talked about was there, but it was like two or three years old, and it was pretty much just that one post, like it was a Yahoo Answers thing, or Yahoo Questions, whatever yeah. you call it, and mm -hmm. it was just that. But now, if you Google it, you know. There's all these other pictures, all these other stories, and you know I'm like, this was all a big fucking Chuck E. Cheese ad campaign. I, I'm sure it was. By the way, my, I would be surprised, honestly. My other part of that story was I asked my cousin uh, about this, and it's funny because she's she's like my age, and she I guess she doesn't follow YouTube. She had no idea what I was talking about. But I told her the story. She's like, no, we never did that. And I'll be real. Uh, first of all, like it is fair to say that a lot of Chuck E. Cheese's are franchise locations, as in they're owned by, you know, independent people. Yeah. And the one she worked at was too, and it was in a ghetto area. Obviously, we're still in tokens there. You know, we're not, we're not, we're not in the best neighborhoods here. If any place, yeah, if any place was recycling pizza, it was that one. It was that Chuck E. Cheese. Um, but no, I asked her, she, and uh, they, they never did. And honestly, the whole story is suspect. I'm like, how, like, I mean, have you ever tried to reheat any pizza to make it look anything normally, like, fresh? Um, they would always look very different. Like, not just, like, a different cut. They would always look like, okay, that one is, like, black because it's been in the oven twice, you know? And this one is, like, you know, is a normal, like, uh, pizza color. <laughs> Like, cause have you guys ever? I don't a, know. No, have you guys ever made a pizza in a in an oven like that? There's like a yes. very small. There's a very small. Yeah. Win there's a very small window from when it's perfectly cooked to when you kind of burnt it a little. You know what I mean? And the difference is like a minute or two. I can't imagine them. Honestly, honestly, I like my pizza a little crunchy, so yeah, I have no problem with it being a little tiny bit burnt. Because I like the crunchiness, so you're wrong, Manuel. No, and honestly, like, don't get me wrong, Shane Dawson, like, also qualified his statements, like, all hell about getting sued. But I think he would have got sued if this wasn't an ad campaign. Like, a legit lawsuit. Because, like, uh, does anyone remember when, like, Oprah was like, oh, how disgusting, like, you know, like, the beef industry is. And beef sales went down, so she got sued. Um, I'm pretty sure he would have got sued. And I think Chuck E. Cheese looks fine in all this because uh, even if you believe it or don't believe it, now everyone's tweeting about Chuck E. Cheese. Yeah, and, and everyone's like, "I want to go back." Yeah, yeah, I want to, I want to go and actually see it for myself. No, same. It's like, I fucking can you let? Will you let me in if I go? 
You let Shane Dawson in with his two friends. I'm gonna go to that location. I'm gonna go to that location with like Cavs, like Cavs, they're, they're letting us in. If they don't let us in, I'm suing them. You let Shane Dawson in with the fucking camera crew. <laughs> you can't let me in. His one person camera crew, I love it. Um, yeah, and no, to be fair, like, he, like, yeah, like, he's not bringing in a big TV production, but I've seen the, you've seen the cameras he uses. It's not like my little, like, you know, little, like. Yeah, like, it has like a mic, it has yeah. like obvious, like, mic yeah. thing and. Like he, yeah. like he's bringing in, like people always forget the kind of thing. It's like, like this is whenever it's like, like it's not an iPhone. Yes. Yeah. He's bringing in a legit, pretty decent sized camera with like decent like sound equipment attached to it. And um, I'm pretty sure most restaurants wouldn't. I've never okay. I've worked at a couple of food places, and I've worked at several retail places. Not several, but I worked at a few places like you know in general like chains. I've actually only yeah. worked in chains, but. I have never in my life worked for a chain that allowed someone to bring in a camera like that without some sort of agreement. You know what I mean? Like, I kind of—it's all conspiracy theory within a conspiracy theory. It is within a, within our own conspiracy theory. Within our own conspiracy theory, yeah. Also, I love Shane Dawson, and I was entertained by that video, but. That dude needs to make some better editing choices. Like, that did not need to be an hour and 45 minutes. Okay. Um, it makes it for... It's a cinematic masterpiece. I'm just kidding. But, um... No, I kind of like it. I mean, even, I like it. even I like if... How it I mean, you could have kept all the dialogue in. And I assure you, if we cut out just some of the, the people walking to and from... And the overly long... <gasps> and the... And the... They repeated... Like, there, there must have only been, like, two videos of people talking about Chuck E. Cheese. Because they kept repeating them over and over. And I'm like, oh, my God. It's like, I could have cut out, like... I like how they, I like how they use a training video for Chuck E. Cheese. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but, I, I, I mean, I could have cut out, like, 20 minutes out of that easily without even, like, any fuss. Um, by the way, in case anyone's wondering, I discussed this earlier in the chat. Little known, actually, not even a little known fact. There, there are YouTube videos about this. Um, Nintendo, I think, was the first Chuck E. Cheese franchisee, or one of the first for sure. But I think they were actually the first. Um, so yeah, that, that's how this is tied into Japan. This is all Japanese pop culture. Yeah, it is, and I don't know. And also, Chuck E. Cheese. I don't know if everyone knows this. Chuck E. Cheese. This isn't like totally Japan, but Chuck E. Cheese was founded. By Nolan Bushnell, who the, who also found Atari, so uh, so that, that's like what? yeah, it really was. That's, that's like, so interesting. Um, the pizzas are cooked in like leftover Ataris or something. <laughs> 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 that's why they all look different. There's no yeah. consistency. <laughs> but I don't know, and it's funny. I actually like their pizza. I've had. Oh my god, I'm gonna talk to I'm gonna talk to a lot of quarters. Um. I haven't been there in a couple years, but I, last time I went, I remember actually liking their food. Actually, last time we went, um, I remember, like, I went with, it was, like, my one of my niece's birthdays, something like that, and, like, my aunt bought, like, uh, or cousin, I guess, it was my aunt, she bought a, I can't, I can't, I can't family right now, um, she, she had bought a bunch of pizzas, and, like, she was trying to order a barbecue pizza, and, like, you know, kind of like the way, like, the the California Pizza Kitchen does it. Like, they're very famous. Like, you know, the barbecue chicken one. But yeah, this yeah. pizza... This pizza... And we've had it at Chuck E. Cheese before. Yeah. You can see the story's going. So, this pizza, I kid you not. Like, all they did was they, they got the chicken. Like, you know, like the, it's a chicken pizza. A chicken pizza, which is fine. But then they just got, like, barbecue sauce and just drizzled it over it. And you could tell that sauce was put on, like, after the fact. Because, it, like, it was very, like... like it just it was like all they did was, was they cold? put no they yeah I mean they just put it actually was cold I mean the pizza was warm but the sauce was cold you can tell like they just like when it was out of the oven you just got a squeeze bottle and did this and like for those who don't know that is not how you do a barbecue chicken pizza like usually this barbecue sauce like in it's usually a different sauce on top of everything and we've had it at Chuck E Cheese before it's a pizza they offer I just remember being like my aunt was really upset and like the way that those parties go is. They cut. They kind of kick you out after past. You know, when your time's up, yeah. and um, 
And they took forever for those pizzas, and we had to wait for more. And for some reason, she ordered like fucking four of them, and nobody wanted to eat them, so nobody ate. <laughs> I remember like, I remember like, I was on, a, I was obviously like, this is kind of recent, so I was like, I was already adult, obviously. So I literally, there was like um, what was there? There was a uh, a Quiznos in the not Quiznos, uh, a Togos. That's something the other sandwich place. There was a Togos. I don't, I don't know if you guys have those. I'm in California only. There was a Togos in that plaza. Yeah, uh, yeah. And uh, I just got a sandwich there, <laughs> and then I came back. I'm like, I'm, I'm not waiting for that pizza to come back. But uh, <laughs> oh my god, Chuck E. Cheese! I swear to God, I hate Chuck E. Cheese. Uh, yeah. Also. <laughs> You guys are probably too young to remember, but when I was, like, really, really small, they still had the bands there, like the Chuck E. Cheese band. Uh, oh, they still had some when I was younger. Oh, they did? They, still have the- they just started to kind of phase them out, I think, after we started to grow up. Yeah, because now... Like, they- I don't... It's just Chuck E. Cheese by himself. They have, like, the video of the band playing sometimes, too. <laughs> like, the... But the band was actually there. It was like, you know, like playing their drums, like, you know, they're not really hitting yeah. shit on time. And then, like, I think the. I'm trying to remember who the band was. There was a chicken, I want to say, like, uh. Yeah, there's the chicken, the. Chucky himself. Yeah. And someone. I want to say a bear, but I don't think it was a bear. Yeah, I'm like, what was the. Yeah. Let me just Google it. I know, it was just. The. the uh, uh, they have a name too, like I think it's like the the something something pizza band or it's not just like Chuck E. Cheese band. They have like oh, there a... was like five of them. Hold on. Oh shit! Oh, there was like the pizza guy, the Italian like pizza. Oh, guy. the guy for the video, the guy for the music, the guy for the training yeah. video, <laughs> the guy for the training video. And then there was the the dog, like the the Dalmatian, miscellaneous thing, and then like the duck chicken thing. I don't remember the dog. That makes sense though. I don't remember the dog. I totally remember yeah, that. I didn't remember the dog. Yeah, I totally remember the, the the cook. Now that you brought that up, guy, the pizza guy, um, and obviously I remember that chicken, whatever the fuck it was. Um, and then, it course, was like a. Could have her been name a, was like Helen. Helen. <laughs> what did you? What are like a very basic, boring name? Um. But yeah, I don't know. I like their pizza. I don't think. I think that was all just a big, a big ploy on Shane Dawson's part to get some more money. Also, that app, that voice app, it never sounded right, but they spent like a half hour on that. Did you watch oh, that? Yeah. That fucking yeah. I skipped. After a while, I just skipped it, because no. I was like, uh, I'm not really no. that interested in yeah, that part. part was that part was so boring, but they kept coming back to it. Um, Once again, it's like, why is this so long? And honestly, except, except for the Chuck E. Cheese thing, which I think was an ad, by the way, Except for the Chuck E. Cheese thing, I think I don't think any of that was conspiracy. And I think it was actually called, like, Shane Dawson, you know, uh, investigate conspiracy theories. None of that was conspiracy, except for the Chuck E. Cheese thing. Because the other big wraparound was about that one friend of his who, um... Yeah, that got tied up with a Serbian dude. And what's funny and, about like, her... Be... Huh? Go ahead. Oh, no, and that she was, what do you call it? She has to be, like, protected 24-7 Yeah. Now. Uh, I won't get into that because that's really off topic. But what's funny about her story is I actually thought it, I thought that was the first time she was telling it. But apparently, not only did she that book that they showed in the in the movie, the uh, you call it a movie, the book they showed in that video. Um, not only does that book tell all of this and more, but she's already done videos where she told the whole thing already. So it was like, why is she on Shane Dawson's channel talking about it? It just seems so random. I didn't know this till after. I thought that was the first time we were hearing about it. Until I saw a couple YouTube complaints that were like, why is half the video about that? And she's already done her own video about it. Um, And it was all repeated stuff. Like, nothing was new there. Except that, I don't know if you watched the very end, what I loved was that, and I gotta admit, that was kind of funny. That that kind of made it worth me watching to the end. Is they blurred the guy's face out all the way through. Oh, yeah. And at the very end, at the very end, he's all like, well, since he wanted to date a YouTuber, I'm going to show his face anyway. And then he showed his face. (laughs) So that part got me. I was like, oh, okay, okay, Shane Dawson. Got me good. That made me chuckle. That that entertained me. Okay. (laughs) I forgive forgive the the 40 minutes of my life that could have been cut out of this that she took away from me. I I forgive that because that was worth it. But, um... 
But yeah, I don't know. We watched too much. We all watched too much Shane Dawson. I don't know. Wonder what his new what or wonder what his next series is going to be about. No, I don't know if you guys heard, but um, YouTube apparently is trying to cut was trying to cut back on conspiracy theory videos. Um, they're trying to uh, what's the word? They're not going to promote them anymore. They said, as in, like they're never going to be on trending. They're never going to be on, like you know, um. Not like, if it's someone get, making the money. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that Shane Dawson is immune to that, by the way, because he's one of the top YouTubers. Um, like, yeah. Definitely the upper echelon. But, uh, I don't know. I yeah, don't know. Yeah, I mean, Shane Dawson, like every other meme podcast we do, we always talk about Shane Dawson. <laughs> it's pretty... Some some of his conspiracy theories, though, I, I I talked about this on a conspiracy theory episode. Some of them are like I don't know if he's just doing really bad research, and I I don't think it's that, or if um or if he just likes to be sensationalized. Because there are some stories he talked about on the on the on the episodes that have been long debunked or long like explained. Like way before he was talking about them, and I was like, "Why did why did he bring that wow. up?" Like everyone knows what that was from. Like he's like, "Where did this creepy video mm. come from?" And it's like, "Oh, if you and if you Google it, you find out. Like, oh, that's a scene from a movie, and it and like everyone found out about this in two thousand eight. Why is Shane Dawson acting like this is new? Things like that." Mm. Um, mm -hmm. And I'm like, "Oh my God, Shane Dawson, come on, please, fake news, fake news." <laughs> Yeah. Fake news. Old news, old news. Old news, yeah. <laughs> fake old, fake old news. <laughs> let's talk about the, let's talk about flat um, Earth shit so we can get more views too, and everyone can like. Oh my god, no! I can't stand. That's, that's where I got the limit. Sorry, no. No, it's funny. Like I'm, I'm like, I like to bring up flat Earth things because like, what I always find lovely about every conspiracy theory I ever come across, or it doesn't matter who's telling it, who what what the conspiracy is. There's always like five pieces of evidence or so. And everyone will repeat those same five things. And with a thing like oh, flat yeah. yeah, with a thing like flat earth, um, you would think there would be like, you know, hundreds, thousands, millions of stories or pieces of evidence. But like, for example, if you watch Shane Dawson's video, the the guy was talking about like the flight that was going to the US, but it, it stopped in Alaska. Or it doesn't. My point is, it stopped somewhere they shouldn't have been able to, because like there was an emergency and they had to land, and it's like, oh, it's like, why were you there if you weren't like flying? You know, if the Earth wasn't flat and like the lines or whatever the fuck. And I'm like, wait, so you're gonna tell me you know, the 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 millions of flights that have happened over the you know over the past couple of decades that we record them, you know, whatever, that all the the thousands upon thousands of emergency landings. That was the one time that apparently, like, Oop, jig is up. They know the Earth is flat. <laughs> <laughs> jig is up. They got our number. I don't know. I, I just find that so. I like no, and it's, it's like, and that's the. I'm like, wait. But, or, wait, yeah. if the Earth was flat. There's nowhere. I mean, if the Earth, because the Earth is round, you can technically land anywhere, and it no. would make sense because the Earth. No. Because the map. If the that... Earth is flat. Why did I go through the Gulf of Mexico to get to San Antonio and panic because I saw too much water and I had to buy seven dollar oh water and reassurance myself? No, my favorite flat Earth thing, and I really I, I can't fathom this. Is when people are like, I don't see the I don't see the curve of the Earth, and I'm like, Do you know how vision is? Do you think the Earth <laughs> is like this big? You think the Earth is this big that you can walk from one end to the other? You know, it's like, do you know what a mile is? You don't know what a kilometer is? I don't know. It's like, do you know what math is? Have you ever taken a math class? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's like, do you know how Man big? Is like big no, it's like, I, I just, no, because it's like, no, because that's always the first thing. Like, no, okay, there's a Starbucks in by my house. Uh, in this plaza with the Best Buy, where these this fucking flat earther guy goes there almost every day, and just and okay, flat earther. And, and let's be real here. Flat earther. No, let's be real here. It's like look at the caliber of people who believe in this. It's like I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna like th this will prove NASA wrong. I'm gonna go to the, my local Starbucks and harass people on the street in the parking lot, because. Cause that'll show NASA. That'll show NASA so good. Cause that'll show NASA. 
No, it's like, oh my god, it's like... Yeah, because maybe a NASA employee will show up in the random Starbucks, you know, and, like, hear your rhetoric, and, like, oh, shit, they're onto him, onto us. Would it make sense to, like, go outside of, like, NASA headquarters with your exactly. picket signs and oh demand that Earth is flat? <sighs> and these are your five pieces of evidence. Exactly. That one plane that landed in Alaska somehow magically, uh, I can't see the curve. No, I mean, oh, my God, it's, like, math, people. It's, like, like... Do you, are you Superman? Like, how how would your vision be that you would see it like that from the ground? It's like it's obvious. It's like, are you stupid? Oh my god. Anyway. Oh my god. Apparently, there's something known as the Flat Earth International Conference 2018. Oh yeah. And I it is held. You on that. It's held here in Denver. <laughs> so proud. Oh, you serious? Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about this. Oh, there's one in Canada, too. <laughs> I can't get a Canadian division, I suppose. Are they based all but, around the globe? <laughs> you know? but the thing is, there's like a Google Maps of showing where it is. Like a Google Earth. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I just... <laughs> I, I mean, like, and let's be real here. My, my biggest on any conspiracy theory that's that big, by the way, let's be honest here. It's like, if I tell someone a secret, if you tell anyone a secret, even if they're under contract or whatever the fuck, that secret will probably leak to to some degree. But, like, we're talking about one that involves, like, every country in the world, and, like, you know, the UN. Like, you know, they NASA. They have a cruise, too. Huh? They have a cruise. Apparently, that's coming in 2020. Oh my god, we're so... <laughs> I'm sorry, I just... Let's find the curve, let's find the curve, like, in the middle of the Pacific or whatever. We're going on a journey. We're going on, we're going on... The oh my god, to are, the edge of yeah, the earth. are they gonna go to the edge and find the ice wall or whatever? Like, they claim it's an ice wall? <laughs> I feel like they're all just gonna come back and be like, the results were inconclusive. They continue to, like, blah blah blah. It was all an illusion. <laughs> Oh my god, let me uh, let me look up some flat earth shit, I need to know about this. I like how, and by the way, the, uh, I'm sure Japan's on that flat earth, this is how this is tied in. <laughs> you, you like that, don't you? Like, I'm, I'm still working it in. Oh flat my earth god! Japan? Yeah, you know, I wonder, the, the, is there a flat earth, oh, did I kill my internet? Oh my god, I think I killed the internet. <laughs> like, no one's watching us, but I think we just, we died for a second on the, the thing. Oh no, are you serious? Okay, we're back. No, it's it just like oh, okay. we were buffering for a really long time. Uh, Flat Earth Society Japan. Let me see if there's anything. Tickets are uh, cheaper than AX. That's pretty good. <laughs> tickets to go are on this... cheaper than AX. <laughs> <sighs> oh my god! You're gonna be fucking kidding me. There apparently no joke, no joke. There is apparently conspiracy theory that Japan doesn't exist. But. I was literally there. I, I think we've all been there. What the fuck? It's like, are you serious? It's like I get mail from there. I, let me, I let me, like let me like just dissect this. Then are are you saying that an airplane just like I don't know goes to the Bermuda Triangle yeah, or they something? They drop us off in the middle like, of nowhere. Isekai. It's like an isekai, like just yeah. another world. <laughs> oh my god! I, like the things you find. I was trying to find. I was trying to find a flat Earth Japanese like branch. But no, apparently there's a thing. It oh. just doesn't exist. Yeah, Japan apparently doesn't Japan exist. Japan doesn't exist. That's good then. Oh my god. Dude. <laughs> I. Well, I think we might. Get I'm a... like, I'm like in, I'm like in just so much disbelief right now for all the bull crap we've been talking about. Yeah. So <laughs> there you go. I just discovered, like, I googled that, and apparently Japan doesn't exist, so now now it's really tied in. Um, Wait, how did you even start, how did you even come with that, like, Japan, Flat Earth? Yeah, and like, well, let me find it. Uh, Japan is a hoax. Uh, bigger than uh, NASA or, or, the, or even Flat Earth, Japan is a hoax. <laughs> I see it. Japan is a hoax bigger than NASA or Hidden Yeah, Flat you see Earth. it? <laughs> that girl knows that the earth is flat. Hold on, Japan. I'm gonna go Japan as a hoax. Oh my god. 
Yes? I oh my god! I kind of want to this up and just, like, wash it. Um... Yep, this is insane. No, if you if you go if you type in Japan as a hoax and you go to like the second third page, there's other like, mind you, they're like, random throwaway messages on a message board, but there's things about how Japan, there's one that explains where the letters come from or tries to, like as in like when you get mail from Japan, and it was not really coming from there. Ah uh, yes. Dude, I don't... what the heck? So are you saying idols don't exist? Yeah, apparently we're just going somewhere else. <laughs> Anime doesn't exist. Like... What the hell? D- it's d- an isekai. It's just a different world. Like it's not even Earth. Like it's just. How am I looking at listings of Shigokara merchandise? Did Tokyo <laughs> open the first human meat restaurant? Wait, what the fuck? What? Am, what, what part of the? Oh internet, my gosh! What part of the internet did I wander into? Hold on. <laughs> oh no, he's going in deeper. I'm getting kind of scared here. Like I'm gonna like go into the deep web and disappear. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Someone's gonna knock on your door and be like, you know too much. You know too much. <laughs> Apparently, somebody from Argentina went to Japan and got human meat. Wait. I mean, I can do the same thing over in Argentina. Just saying. <laughs> and, and, and apparently, apparently, it's not. Apparently, cannibalism technically isn't illegal there. I mean, I can go to Argentina. Any humans, if I wanted to, just saying. I was gonna say that too. Like, let's be real here. Like, yeah, let's be real here. Like, like our Argentinian brother in that story probably went back home and saw, like, oh man, the human, the human meat in my hometown is way better than Tokyo. <laughs> okay, oh my god, yeah. right. we have all these angry Argentinians in the comments now. <laughs> I'm sorry, Argentinians. I'm like, I'm sorry. It's like, stop eating people. I'm just kidding. <laughs> No! <laughs> okay, like, I know, like, actually, let me, let me, before I get sued by the Argentinian, Argentinian government, I mean, if you ate people, please stop. I don't know if you are, but if you are doing it, then maybe don't. Unless you like the meat, then, then keep maybe eating. don't. <laughs> I like that. Oh my god, I'm qualifying that too much. <laughs> stop eating people, gosh. <laughs> You ever watch this? Don't. I, I forgot. Oh yeah, you ever watched this? It was like one of the the old Treehouse Treehouse of Horror, uh, um, Halloween Simpsons episodes where like Homer's King Kong, and he's like eating Lenny, and it's like, hey Homer, stop eating me! <laughs> and he keeps eating him. That's the way I feel. Everyone to Argentina, like, hey Argentina, stop eating me! <laughs> and Argentina just keeps eating me. And so like, yo Argentina, guys, you need to stop eating people. Okay, I need to stop now. <laughs> 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 I didn't put this in his own segment. Like that time Manuel uh, claimed that Argentinians eat, eat people. Um, no. Uh, oh my god, I can't get over this. Um, for the record, I actually went further into this rabbit hole. Apparently, according to Snopes, um, Japan does not eat people. Or at least there is. Let me rephrase that. Uh, there isn't a restaurant in Japan where you could eat someone. I do remember there was this guy who was convicted for like cannibalism a long time ago. Like I'm sure I think he's still famous now. But he served his time in prison in Japan by the way, he's Japanese. He served his time in prison, came out and became a celebrity. <clears throat> like, you know, a, a talk show host. I'm not even making this up. Actually let me Google Wait, him. What? Yeah, like a real cannibal who became like a, a celebrity. Hold on. Cannibal Okay. I'm 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 really jump You hear the fucking cricket? You hear the cricket? That fucking cricket <laughs> That fucking cricket! Oh my it's god! A, oh my it's god. a spy, bro. I know. It's a spy. He's 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 probably like, like oh, bro, he knows too much. He's looking up more. Cannibal celebrity <laughs> Japan. Let's see what comes up. Um, yeah, my internet. I don't know if it's because like I'm like totally killing my internet, throttling it with the the podcast or what. Yeah, Issei Sagawa. Uh, is a man while living in Paris. He killed and cannibalized a Dutch woman in 1981. 80s are wild, bro. I know. Yeah, it's like 10 facts about Issei Sagawa, Sagawa the, the, the Japanese uh, um, cannibal celebrity. Let me see. Um, I feel kind of bad because he, he obviously killed someone and ate her. It's like, like I feel like... <laughs> yeah. Um... Let me see. Hold on. Post release. 
That fucking cricket, I swear to god, that cr- I'm gonna fucking tear him- I'm gonna stop this podcast, destroy this room, and find that cricket and kill it. Um. Uh. Uh. No, I'm keeping the thing. Apparently, uh. He's uh, in a mental institution. Apparently, he came from a wealthy family, which might explain why he, he kind of got off light. And, uh, yeah, he apparently is all over. Uh, he is in a. Oh, shit. Apparently, he's in, like. He's in a couple, like, um. Like. Like, pink movies, like in Japan. Which is really what? crazy. Yeah. Oh, my God. Pink movies? Pink movies. Pink like, movies. uh, like, kind of like softcore porn. Oh, oh, oh I see. Wait, like, like, solo or with a girl? Uh, it doesn't say, but apparently. Apparently he was in one of them called, um... Okay, I'm not gonna read the Japanese title. But it's apparently Unfaithful Wife, Shameful Torture. And he was a sadosexual voyeur. Um... I'm uncomfortable. Yeah, I am too. <laughs> apparently, he's Everything written... about this guy is just makes me uncomfortable. Yeah, apparently he's, he's written, uh... He's written books about both his murder... It says books! So apparently he's written maybe more than one about his own... His own... His own murder he committed... And, oh my god! And apparently, yeah, I'm not making this up. Oh my god. There's apparently a Japanese magazine called Spa. Get this. This is not a joke. This sounds like a sick joke, but it isn't. He has written food reviews for them. What? Yes. He has written... The food, irony of all a this. A cannibal has, is, has written food reviews for a Japanese magazine. Oh, I closed, I closed, I closed the thing. Sorry. Um... Let me see. Oh my god. How does it come to this? How did, how did we get here? Why am I here? I think I'm gonna log off. Really? Uninstall. He's still alive, <laughs> apparently. Apparently he's still alive. I'm gonna, I'm gonna unsubscribe, like, now. <laughs> um... Why do we know this? Why do we know what we Why know? Why do we research any of this? Well, I used to... Okay, I, when I was in high school, I used to have this very goth girlfriend who, um... And she was one of those stereotypical goth girls who was all like, oh, I find serial killers so fascinating. You know what I mean? You know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, she used to always tell me about this, like, like more than once. And this is like... This was like pre and not only that but we were like poor then too so we didn't have it anyway but this is like pre like the internet the way it is now like like when we did have the internet we were still using dial up um yeah yeah, yeah. so like there wasn't all this information out there so all she had known was like something that you know was like a footnote in a book this is actually the most i've ever read about this this is like oh my god um apparently the rolling stones wrote a song about him what the fuck i gotta listen to a song later on um and there's, what the fuck? I like how there've been movies about him called uh, "Excuse Me for Living," which uh, what? Um, the cannibal that walked free, an interview with the cannibal. Why are we talking about cannibals? Yeah, let's let's move on. I, this is this is this, this is like I forgot that literally came from like. I didn't want to call it a joke because I don't know if, can, if you can make cannibal jokes. That just went way too far. Oh god! <laughs> you know I'm not gonna lie. I actually forgot we were doing a podcast for a second. Is anyone even watching? Oh shit! Someone is. No. Oh my god! Some no. Someone is. Someone straight up. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Someone. I, it's probably the dude. It's probably the dude watching. Uh, if you tuned in and you wonder why we're talking about cannibals in Japan, um, this podcast took a really, really sharp right turn into places we did not know it was gonna go into. Um. <laughs> oh my God, Kaz messaging me. Anyway, um. Oh God, I got dark. Anyway, um. Here's a here's a penis plush. Change the change the mood. What? The fuck? What? <laughs> what I'm not looking at my screen. Wait, what is that? Oh, it's a penis plush. You, you, oh, exactly. Can I can I show this? I'm gonna get. Is the stream gonna get like cut off now? You have to blur. You have to blur his little tip. And there you fine. go. You don't can't see him. It's no, a penis. I mean like you have to blur it, like when you edit. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna. That's gonna be the thumbnail. Me holding the, the blurry penis plush. Um. It's gonna totally give the wrong. Oh, you know what? 
We should, the the thumbnail. I know. We're talking about the thumbnail now. So, is the guy the guy leave? Are oh, he's still there? Okay. This is, I'm sorry, Sadly. Lurker. We're gonna talk about it a little bit further. The thumbnail will be us like eating something. So like we'll allude that we talked about cannibalism for about like ten minutes in the middle. Um. <laughs> I can't um, breathe with that thing on I, right now. I don't, I don't know. I don't have any food with yeah, me. Yeah, I really don't either, but I'm going to find it because I need to make this happen. Um, anyway. Okay. Um, so, yeah. Other than that, uh, what other fun stuff do you have to talk about? <laughs> what, what other fun stuff? What fun stuff do we have to talk uh, about that yeah. isn't about cannibalism? Uh, um, how about those chicken nuggets at, at uh, okay. Burger King? Yeah, what is you. in the chicken nuggets at no, Burger we King? Talk about, no, we want to talk about conspiracy theories now. I was talking about because before we came on, I got an ad from Burger King. Uh, I got an ad from Postmates. Now they were offering uh, a deal. You can get a burger, which, by the way, it was offering like any burger. Like you can get like the fucking like the bigger the the bigger Whopper, like the double Whopper, like a, a pretty big burger, a burger, a big burger, um, fries, a drink, and two cookies for three dollars. And like that doesn't make sense. And no, a lot of Burger King's menus doesn't make sense. Like, I don't know if you guys get these coupons around where you live, but, like, a very frequent one I go to, is some I, I use with some of my friends, are, like, two burgers, two drinks, and two fries for $4. That's a real coupon. Like, that, 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 that's not me. That's not me mis, 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 misquoting anything. That's a real coupon that I use, like, relatively regularly. Like, not, like... Like once a month, like not like every every other day, or you know, I should say, rel- you know, relatively regularly. Um, so that's a real coupon. How the fuck are they? Aff- how can they afford to sell that kind of food for that kind of price? Like we were talking about the nuggets. Like I was at a con and I got nuggets there because like actually, actually I bought a lot of food because I think we were drinking and I was just like I had to buy a ton of food to like you know when you're drunk you just want to like put things in your that sounds weird you want to put things in your mouth. <laughs> you just want to like. <laughs> Oh my god, Manuel, stop. Oh. oh, I can't stop now. Oh my god. Um, yeah, don't ever get drunk with me. Things get... No, I'm just kidding. Just kidding. Anyway, uh, I'm just going to shut up now. Let's take like, that all out of context. Um, but no, uh, you don't want to get drunk and you you kind of just want to like like shove all this food into you so that like it um it like absorbs the alcohol. That's always a thing you think will happen. I don't know if it really does, but that's always like, you know, the, the drunk myth. That like oh, I'm drunk. If I eat, a, if I eat like, yeah. like, usually all that happens is like people like me, I'll just feel kind of eh. But then most people will just throw up everything in a minute because that is not really what you want to do is like eat a ton of food when you're really wasted. But um, yeah. But, but anyway, so we bought all this food, and amongst that, we bought like a bunch of nuggets. I, I think it was like forty nuggets for four dollars, and it was like okay, that's I don't know. I find that bullshit because I know they do like. What, what was it? Like twenty? No, 10, no, no, for sure. For no, for sure. I'm not even joking. For sure, I know for a fact that within the past year or two. Now, to be fair, I don't get nuggets there very often. I actually never get the nuggets. I don't really like them. They're very tough and chewy. They're, once again, because they're probably made out yeah. of crap. But I don't like them. But I got nuggets because somebody else in our group wanted them. But when I got there, um, I noticed that like it was really more cost effective to get that giant like you know nugget deal. But what I'm saying is. I know yeah. for yeah, I know for a fact. This is this is not even a misquote. I know for a fact. I have bought twenty nuggets for one ninety nine there in the past, um, within the past three ish years. And I know that for a fact. There was twenty nuggets for one ninety nine. I'm like, what are these made out of? What are these yeah, yeah, yeah. fucking okay, made no, out of? That's, that, was yeah. the deal. that was the deal. I think I was thinking about. I don't know. So I probably bought two of those. Not very more expensive. But yeah, it's two dollars for for fucking twenty nuggets. That makes no sense. Like those things are fucking made out of like chicken skin and paper. It's like there's no way yeah. that there's no way. There's, like, you know what? That. It's probably made made up, the it's shredded actually, paper. <laughs> yeah. Actually, not gonna lie, it's probably actually made up of like chicken bone and like beak and uh, they add like a little bit of meat in there for like a flavor and all that. How do I know? Because I kind of saw how chickens were being until me. Oh my god, have you guys ever seen that video? I don't know who that guy is. People people act like he's famous. Maybe I just don't I just don't know enough about famous people. But that one guy, he makes a chicken nugget in front of all those kids and he shows them what goes into it. And at the end of it, he's all like, Would you still eat that? And every kid oh every kid every kid that. raised their hand. Like, who would still eat this? And all the kids were like, Me Like every kid. Like no kid said no. Every kid's like, I still want it. Are you giving that to me? Get it you know. That that I'm not gonna lie. Honestly, that's, that's... 
Honestly, I would be one of those kids. Yeah, it's like you gotta have your chicken nuggies, you know, like that, that's like one that's like part of the food pyramid right there. Um <laughs> Like you know okay. like Okay, okay, so let's let's settle the debate now before we before we get to it. Who has the best chicken nuggets? Okay, now there's two parts of this debate. We're talking strictly when nuggets. No, we're when talking. Are we exactly. talking? Okay, no, yes, no, 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 no. Okay, no. no. Yes, yes. If we're talking strictly nuggets, because obviously I think there's a huge difference between nuggets and chicken strips. But if we're talking strictly nuggets, no, it is fucking McDonald's. I don't care. It is fucking McDonald's. Excuse me. It is McDonald's. Disgusting. It is McDonald's. No. I think Tyson chicken nuggets are like. No, no, <laughs> don't even go there. Okay. Let me let me let me show you the the the, the pill the pillar no the, the hierarchy the hierarchy there you go the hierarchy of the, <coughs> the good chicken nuggets and not manuals bullshit so on top of course we got we got Wendy's because she she's always fresh they're expensive um, enough <laughs> yeah like I remember when I went to ALA and I got like twenty or no 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 I got like. 30 chicken nuggets from there. And I went straight to the to Manuel's room and I ate them and we went to the panel and I got really sick after that. Oh yeah, I think you left a, I think you left a nugget or two with me and I ate it. Oh yeah, because I couldn't finish it and I got really sick. Yeah. But who's 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 after Wendy's then? Okay, after Wendy's is um who else has nuggets? I just think McDonald's could go there, right? It's see, see. Yes. No, no. So there's someone has to be. There has to be. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, sorry, Wendy's, but Chick Fil A is also gonna have to go. Ah, uh, Chick Fil A. Yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. I'll be real. I'll Chick-fil-A. be real. Yeah. I'll be real. I think Chick Fil A is at. Okay, I think they're really different. So I, I have to say Chick Fil A and still McDonald's. I would still put like neck and neck for one. But I forgot about Chick Fil A. No, you're disgusting. I'm sorry you like getting cancer, but I'm not calling that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Haven't you read their like ad pieces? Uh, McDonald's chicken nuggets are 100% white meat. That doesn't mean. Are, <laughs> are you racist? I didn't mean like that. <laughs> <laughs> maybe I like. Maybe I like the brown. The brown oh my uh, God. chicken. Can, I mean, Kaz, I could not please. Oh my god. Are you racist? Are you racist? No. Okay, let's be real. Kaz would totally say something. She would have said that. She would have called me out on that. Like, you racist bastard. It's like, what the fuck? <laughs> it has Why like. Why does that have to be white meat? What's wrong with the other meat? You know, fun. No, actually, um, there are times where, like I'll go to like a a buffet. This is kind of a weird off-topic thing, but I go to a buffet and they'll have chicken there. Like if you go to the Shakey's buffet, which is kind of like a, a ghetto version of the CC's one. What the fuck is a Shakey's? <laughs> no, you, you know it's been funny. How do you get lower than CC's? Exactly. No, it, it's funny. It's funny you guys don't know what a Shakey's is because there's Shakey's in Japan. Like I went to one in Shibuya, and they also have the buffet I there. I literally have never seen a Shakey's. And I've been twice. Anyway, um, so yeah, it's a it's a pizza chain, and one of the things they have it's funny because in Japan the buffet is like all day. You can also order pizza, but the buffet is all day. In over here in the U.S., as far as I know, it's only during a lunch thing, like a lunch lunch hours. So, anyways, um, uh, I go there a lot with some friends of mine because they also serve beer there, and <laughs> and usually we we uh. Like, if we want to get day drunk on a Saturday or something like that, we'll go there and we'll, we'll get some beer and we'll get the buffet. <laughs> and it's perfect. But anyways, my point is, is that a lot of the buffets, and not, not just Shakey's, but Shakey's is the, the perfect example. Because, like, they'll put, like, all the chicken out. Because there's, there's also chicken in the buffet besides pizzas. And yes, there is something below CeCe's. Because um, their pizza's not that great, but it's really cheap. But, um, but, um, the chicken, they'll have, like, a ton of drumsticks, a ton of, like, uh, 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 thighs and whatever, but there'll only be like one or two breasts per like huge tub of chicken, and like I will not eat anything else but like a chicken breast, and I'll get so upset if I can't find one my entire buffet trip. Oh my god! And I'm like, this I only is like a first world problem. I only eat this white meat. I only, I only this eat. This is a white person's problem. Yes. No. And uh, when I, every every year, like for Thanksgiving, I usually make a turkey. Um. Just for oh, myself and friends. Cooks? Yes, I do. 
Um, <laughs> so anyway, but uh, the past couple years, I realized, like, no joke, I would never eat anything but the breast. So now I buy just turkey breasts. Like, you know, like, you can still get them whole with the bone oh, and yeah, everything. Oh, yeah, just the turkey breasts. Yeah. So I'll just buy the breasts to, to make that instead because I'm like, I'm not going to eat anything else. So I'm a pretty big snob when it comes to, like, poultry, I guess. Like, I'll only eat white meat. You're just a snob in general. I only eat white meat. That, is that racist? Food. Is that racist? ATJ yeah. food, like, Manuel's, like, <laughs> white meat review. Yes! <laughs> like, who has the best really white meat? We only talked five minutes about, about uh, chicken breast and white meat. No! <laughs> that's, like, that's, that, that, that's sexual assault and I know. racism. Exactly! You're talking about breast and white, white breasts. White breasts are best. I'm just, oh my god. Somebody, somebody is gonna take that out of context. <laughs> white breasts are best. I can't believe I said that. And I repeated it. I might edit that out. I don't think I want that on YouTube. No, I hope, I hope that's it. I want it to be like, <laughs> Oh my god, that's, that's so embarrassing. I can't believe I said that. Um, you see, I keep forgetting we're on a podcast. Because <sighs> nope. like, we, we, I, I keep checking it. And don't get me wrong, we've gone up to four, so we get, like, two lurkers. I, I don't even think they're lurkers, per se. I, I don't even think there are people. I think it's just somebody on Twitch who just, like, is scouring the dark corners of Twitch, you know, <laughs> just seeing what's live in the, the in the talk show category. And they just, they're just like, let's watch this for a minute. Oh, shit. He's talking about, like, white breasts. I better just better bounce. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's so racist. Anyways, let's move on. <laughs> so, anyways, Chick Fil A, Wendy's, McDonald's. What are the other nuggets? Um, whatever it is, Burger King's at the bottom. Yeah, yeah like, no matter what, Burger King is at the bottom, and right uh, right above it is McDonald's. No, everything on, else is on top of that. Wendy's, Wendy's chicken nuggets. Like, don't get me wrong. I'm pretty sure everyone's chicken nuggets, especially at these chain places. Everyone's come in like a bag that's frozen I, i'm positive obviously i'm not even positive i know like we're not, none of us are stupid that's the way they're gonna come no one's like no Did they say taste better no that's the thing though but the, the wendy's ones legit taste like and it's funny because you mentioned this already uh, uh jasmine but they taste like um like tyson chicken nuggets like like i actually like yeah. those i actually like them by the way i'm not saying they're bad but they taste like I could buy those in a store, but McDonald's have a slightly different. It's the breading. It's the, it's the breading to the McDonald's. Yeah, the breading on the outside is really different. Yeah, that's what makes the McDonald's chicken nugget taste like that. Um, that's honestly why I prefer them. And don't get me wrong, you can. I think there's a very small cooking window because I've had like some nuggets that are the best nuggets in my life from McDonald's. But then at the same restaurant, I'll get some that like have clearly were not, either not cooked right or they've been sitting in the little like the little warming tray for like three hours or whatever and they're like, really old because they're like oh these taste kind of bad you know what i mean it tastes like it's put together but use nothing <laughs> <laughs> that's the real conspiracy and they recook them together oh my... it sounds so terrible <laughs> no there was a uh... There was a time, and this is recently, this is like a couple months ago, I went to McDonald's, like, with some friends, like, at, like, two or three in the, I might have told this on the podcast already, at, like, two or three in the morning, and we, I did tell this story already, and we ordered, like, 80 nuggets, or it was 100 in nuggets, it doesn't matter, it was a lot of nuggets, and I was so mad, because, like, we ate a box, and I'm like, I feel like there were less in that box, like, than 10, and I'm like, I know we're kind of, we're, we're not exactly sober, and I know that we're also really hungry, but, like... <laughs> Like, I swear, there were only so many nuggets. So we counted all the nuggets in all the boxes, and none of them had ten. Some of them had nine, but a couple had, like, seven, and, like, most of them had eight. And it was, I like... I hate that. I used... At one point in my life, I used to actually count my nuggets, like, no, no matter where I got them. No, like, I, 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 I do that, actually, most of the time, because that's not the first time it's happened, but, like, I was so mad, and I, I complained, and they actually, they actually gave us most of it for free. I think they actually, if I'm not mistaken, I think they refunded me the whole thing, and we bought more food. Like, cause we ordered nuggets first, and then we ordered a ton of other shit later. So I think they gave us all the nuggets for free, actually, funny enough. Like, because I, I, was, I was really mad, and I was like, I was drunk, too. So I was also being kind of loud. Oh, my God, but, man, you no, to see that. But I was <laughs> annoyed. <laughs> no, it's like we ordered, like, 100 and... I think we ordered, like, 100, 120 nuggets. And, um... 
And basically, they had shortchanged us like two entire boxes. Like, you know what I mean? Out of the, when it was all said and done. Yeah. And I was like, dude, it's like that. It's not like we were missing a nugget. Like, you clearly like some or not you that like the guy was yelling at, but clearly somebody in the back is like, I like I'm not gonna make another batch of nuggets. I'm gonna just give them what's left, but spread it out. They won't notice. Like, it's like it's obvious that's what happened. But um, but anyway, that's neither here nor there. I forgot. And those, I don't remember those nuggets being that good anyway. I remember we took some home and then, like, let's not get started on reheating, like, nuggets in general. But, um, they weren't that great. Did you know that apparently nuggets aren't, the McDonald's nuggets aren't fried? Did you know that? What did they, what they, did bake they them. do with them? They bake them, apparently. Oh. They oh. put them in the heating tray for just yeah. <laughs> That's probably what they like. But supposedly, yeah, they're not fried. I don't know. I never had them fried. Yeah, and that that also I think is what lends to their different flavor, taste, texture, whatever the fuck. Because um, yeah. most of the places they, they just fry them. But um, I yeah. believe, and I think the process because this this goes for all like chain places, they are like fried a little or like cooked a little. They're frozen and they're sent to wherever the fuck. And I think they finished the, at least for McDonald's, I think they finished the cooking, like, in, like, the tray that, like, you know, like, kind of like the, with the pizza. Have you ever seen, like, a pizza place, like a Domino's, they put it on the thing that just slides all the way through? I think there's a similar mm-hmm. process like that for nuggets. Like, they just go through a thing and you just, like, get the tray out at the other end and then put it in the fucking warmer and then let it sit there for three hours and ruin the fucking nuggets. But, um, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm passionate about my chicken nuggets. I don't know, man. This is the whole chicken nuggets section of it's the like, podcast. Yeah, chicken nuggy podcast. Okay, I swear but to... you're, what, what are you, what are Jasmine? What's your favorite chicken nugget? Oh, uh, like Wendy's or something? Yeah. Okay. Same. Oh and my god! I almost fell out my chair. <laughs> <laughs> no, because like this chair has no back, and like uh, it, it was okay. It, it's. It, like the back was so uncomfortable, like I just I broke it off. Like it's it's actually a steel chair, but I broke the back off, and it was very hard to break off, by the way. But I hated the back of it, so I broke the back off. So now it's kind of like an uncomfortable stool because it's clearly meant for you to be reclined because it's like sloped. But uh, <laughs> if I do, if I lean back too far, I'm suddenly like I'll fall through this, and it'll be funny, and like I'll, I'll probably die because there's actually stuff behind there. But yeah, it'll be great. Um, God, I feel like. I can't believe we've been talking about, like, cannibals and nuggets and, like, no one's going to watch this podcast. Like, I mean, I can't be real because, like, I want to put what we really talked about. Because we talked about cannibalism more than enough for that to be on the description. Like, not you know, the actual title. But I don't want our 1,000 plus A to J viewers to be like, what the fuck? They talked about cannibalism in Japan for, like, enough that they thought it was worth noting <laughs> in the title? <laughs> Exactly. That's against watching. You know what? It's be like B and K cannibalism and chicken nuggets. Like that. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna. I'm, as soon as we're done here, I'm gonna delete the. I'm gonna delete the the stream from uh, Twitch, and I'm gonna go on Twitter, and I'm gonna tell everyone that this is a lost episode because like, we talked about things we shouldn't have. I'm gonna do that. <laughs> And then, like, I'm gonna wait until, like, see if anyone cares. And then I'm gonna, I'll even put it on YouTube, because, like, YouTube, we can comment now. We can make a, we can make community posts. So I'll put it on YouTube and Facebook and everything like that. And then, um, I'll eventually release it. Like, lost episode, we talked about cannibalism and white breasts. And so on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. This is so bad. This is so bad. I can't believe we're talking about this. Um... I don't know. It's like... Disgusting. I mean... Okay, that, that's actually the real question. Because, um... Like, I, I went to this, uh... Actually, it was Shakey's. It was, it was Shakey's very recently. Like, last week we went to Shakey's. And... Once again, like I, I'm like I, I see them putting new chicken out. So I got up and I'm like, I need it. there's gonna be one breast in that whole thing. I need the breast, right? So I go over there, and there was this lady who had like kind of cut in front of me, and like cause for the exact same reason, like the new chicken, so she wanted chicken. So I'm like, oh my god, this bitch is gonna take the one breast, right? And she was digging, <laughs> she was digging, and she was getting, like, she was getting like all these drumsticks, and I was like, and then I saw her uncover the breast. And I was like, oh, my God, she's going to take it. She's going to take it. And I was freaking out. And I'm not, I'll be honest with you. Like, I was kind of like, I'm like, because, like, next to there, that's where you can get, like, the potatoes. Like, uh, there's, like, a, they, they serve these called mojo potatoes. where they're, like, they're just 
like sliced but seasoned potatoes and there there's a, oh a there's God. a there's a set of tongs in there so i was seriously contemplating grabbing those tongs and just like reaching over here and grabbing the breast out before she got to it because i'm like i am not like they're gonna close up my face i'm not gonna get my breast i'm gonna be fucking mad i need my fucking breast and um okay this is kind of weird now but <laughs> but i was like i needed it and then like uh much to my amazement though all she did which i'm not gonna lie it's kind of an this would be upsetting if I cared, but all she did was she literally took out every drumstick out of that thing. She must have taken like eight or ten of them and just took it to the table to her table. And I think she she she, she it was I wasn't being subtle. Um, she knew that I was very upsettedly like don't touch the chicken. I let me get chicken first. Um, but she didn't care. She was not having my bullshit. Uh, so she she even kind of like edged herself whenever I tried to like try anything. She was even like kind of shifting herself in a way where I could not really get to that chicken breast I wanted but she left it there but this is a very long winded way for me to say this but I realized and I talked to other people like at, at my table most people prefer like drumsticks or wings or whatever so maybe I'm just in the minority who likes white breasts I don't know You're always I think you are I like wet wings so it's my, prob to my problem with wings Okay, first of all, have you ever seen those memes? Uh, I actually didn't know this was a thing until very recently. There's like these memes where it's all like how white people leave chicken and they'll, they'll show somebody eating a drumstick and there's all this meat and stuff still on the edges or whatever. They don't eat everything. Dude, I hate that. That's me. Like, that's me. Food. That's me. What? Yeah, because I, okay, I, I remember when I, no, when I was in school, like, we would always have, like, chicken. I don't think it was, a, it was like, baked chicken. It wasn't fried. But we would always have chicken, like, as one of our, like, meals, like, every week. And uh, I, I remember there were kids who I sit next to who would leave just bones, who would eat everything but the bones. <laughs> and, like, I don't mean, yeah. like... And then when I, when I was in, when I was, like, a... When I was in high school or whatever, there was this friend of mine who would. This is how. This is how. This is this is a little abnormal, I'll admit. But like, like he's not normal. But I, I, this always stuck with me. He actually would break the bones and suck up the marrow. I'm like, dude, that's fucking that's barbaric. Stop. But he would like break the bones, suck up the marrow. Has anyone ever done that? Um, I've never done that. He just, just I tried it once because he did it. I'm like, that's disgusting. You're weird. But um, no offense if you like marrow, by the way, because that apparently is a thing. But um, but. Um, I was pointing to this, but yeah, I'm that person. I'll like, just, I'll eat like you know most of it, but I'll just like leave the rest. And like, and there've been times when like, um, I, I, my, mo one of my more recent exes, well, she would get mad at me. She's like, "You left so much food on that piece of chicken." It's like, "What's wrong with you? You're so wasteful." Because if you don't know this, I'm actually pretty wasteful in general. Like, Konara knows this. You are. Like, um, you, you really are. I buy two liters of Cokes at, like, at parties and, or conventions. Cause, like, oh, my God. Because I, cause I, I want to make drinks. But, like, if, when, when it gets about halfway full, the rest of it starts going flat really fast. And I'll just dump that. I'll just, like, throw it away. And, and it's it, – now, I don't mean to – don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that I've done that once or twice. I literally buy two liters – planning to throw away half of each one why don't you just buy a one liter <laughs> because this is the same problem in microcosm because in the one liter i'll still be throwing half of it away <laughs> it's the same problem well, but like less at least i guess like half a liter <laughs> the whole liter but yeah and you like might as well just get a smaller thing yeah and then just drink right? it all but like i don't know it's just, it, like yeah exactly and people, I've had many people get mad at me. Like, um, Eunice used to yell at me all the time, saying, "Man, you're just so wasteful. Leave it. I'll drink it." And like, I've had people spitefully drink. The like, the you can tell they don't really want Coke. But I've had people like, "Oh my God, <laughs> sorry, I almost." <laughs> I'll tell you in a second. But let me finish. I had people spitefully drink Coke that I'm about to throw away. It's like, no. Well, I'm gonna throw it away anyway because I don't want it sitting there. They're like, no, I'll drink it. They're like, they're sitting there, like, <laughs> like just, just to piss me off, drinking the Coke I'm trying to throw away. Um, and that goes for everything. Like, I I'm just very wasteful. So I, I guess I just am. I don't know. This is. This I forgot where this is going. Oh, chicken. But yeah. By the way, um, I was trying to scoop my chair up and I almost pushed it forward, which is why I was like, I almost like fell forward. I just can't. I can't sit apparently. But, um, so what's your favorite part of the chicken, uh, Jasmine? I, I like the chicken wing. Oh, That's yeah, you said that, yeah. probably my favorite part. Of the, yeah, like, the, the wing is where it's at. It's like, 
not too much meat, just enough meat. I can't eat a lot of food anyway, so it's like perfect. I my, 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 I remember why I brought up the bone thing. My problem with wings is that it's so hard to get to the meat, I feel. And I'm, I'm not that kind of person who actually like really goes at it <laughs> and like, you know, eats everything on there. Like, I'll find, like, the two easy-to-get pieces of chicken and then just put the rest of the wing away. Like, there you go. And I've had... I've, I, um... Because, actually, wings are white meat as well. But, uh... But usually... Like, if I'm with someone, they'll usually very angrily, like, eat the rest of my wings. They're like, what the fuck's wrong with you? Like, you know... Or they, they know I do that. So, like... Um... Sometimes when we go to a wing place, like they'll order less for themselves. They know I'm only gonna eat like, like a couple pieces of mine, because I'm I'm wasteful. God, I don't know. I'm part of the problem. Yeah. I'm, part, I'm part of like the first world food problem. I swear to God. Um, you are. You need to compost all of that. <laughs> uh, Konari, what's your favorite part of chicken? Drumstick. See, you're like that lady who who like who took all of them to her fucking no, table. No, I'm not that lady. I don't <laughs> the pile of drumsticks. Yeah, drum and it, I, it, I only take two max. No, and it's funny too because like I'm pretty sure that she didn't mean to grab all of them at first, but I think she thought I wanted some. I didn't. I really didn't. But I think she thought I wanted them, so she was. I could tell that she was probably like, "Fuck this bitch! I'm taking them all!" Like you know. And so she took them all to the table. She's probably busting at me. She's gonna sit there angrily eat all ten by herself. She's like, "I don't care as long as he doesn't get them." <laughs> but also for the record, I did get my breast, and it was it was pretty good. And I also only ate like a few of the easy pieces of meat. Just left the rest there. When I was younger. My one of my aunts used to make fried chicken all the time, and I loved her. I loved the batter she would make. So, so this story sounds so stupid. Uh, I I have been told that I'm not the only one who's done this. So I so I'll leave it at that. But like I love the batter that the chicken was in so much. I used to have her make me just the batter. <laughs> like. She would fry just the batter, and it sounds weird. Like, how do you do it? It's like I don't know, but she did it, and like it was. It kind of came out like as like a just the batter. Yes, like you know the the season and flour mix with the egg wash or whatever, and then you yeah, fry that, yeah. and then you fry that. So you just have this. Skin, essentially? Not even the skin, because, like, <laughs> typically, like, if you put that on a chicken, like, the skin will still be there. I just had the batter. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, apparently, I've been, I've been told, like, like, not like, I can't think of anyone that we all know, but I've been, like, throughout the years, I'll come across that one person who's like, I did that too! <laughs> or I did that yesterday, you know? Um. I did that yesterday! <laughs> like, uh, I, I'm, I'm not good with fried chicken, like, uh, and I, I remember one of my, uh, I had an ex a long time ago. He used to like making fried chicken a lot. And I used to ask her, like, hey, can you make me just the batter? <laughs> and uh, she could never do it without it falling apart and just becoming, like, you know, a bunch of, like, fried chunks in the in the oil. But um, yeah, it, it's possible somehow. I just don't understand how it works. I guess you would have to, like, make like almost like a, like, um, like a, like a, a batter tortilla <laughs> and then, like, fry that. <laughs> Cause it's flour, so I mean, like you know, it's it's flour mostly. Yeah. So you make a batter tortilla, and then oh my god, I almost knocked over a plate. Um, and then fry that. There's nothing, <laughs> on, there's nothing on the plate, but a bunch of knives. I don't know if you heard that, but it rattled really loud. There's a bunch of knives on the plate, cause uh, I live like a slob, and that's that's my knife plate. But um, <laughs> you have a nice plate. A knife plate, but uh, oh, I thought you said nice plate. No, like I don't want to show, cause it's like a dirty knife. But here's a, here's see the steak knife. But <laughs> but um I have a knife plate. Anyway. Uh I think I was getting that there. Um I don't know. I feel like this podcast yeah, this is gonna be a lost episode. I'm gonna release it like randomly this like a lost episode. Well I'm Patreon only. Yeah, Everyone that's actually a, that's, a, that's, a good one. that's a perfect <laughs> one. And I'll 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 we'll even refer to it later. Um I think I'm gonna wrap this up soon. Let's wrap it up soon. Um Yeah. Yeah. Anything else you want to talk about before? Anything else like we want to topics we want to close out? We didn't even talk about the fucking uh, spoiled children, not spoiled children, uh, entitled parents. Um, oh yeah, I, we, I no, guess we can. I don't think appropriate way to close it out. Okay. Uh, so uh, if you didn't know, uh, it's been kind of. I guess it's it's just starting to trend. Yeah. Like the subreddit. 
to call it Entitled Parents because this uh, last night, no, it was last night, I started watching videos on YouTube of like uh, people narrating stories from the subreddit. And now, ever since said, like my recommendations are flooded with them. Who, who did you watch? And I can't get. I don't know who I watched first. Uh. This is a couple. It was just a random... One I watched was called R slash. I just watched a random one. One was called R slash. That was the first one that came okay, up. I watched one. I watched one from him. I like and, I like his yeah. voice. I've seen countless others, but I like his voice. I don't know. I can't stand anyone's voice. I I just can't. Like I I just wish I had better voices. I haven't found the perfect YouTuber with the perfect voice that I can uh, comfort comfortably listen to. But yeah. Um, we decided that we're going to read one. I'm probably not going to read it. I'm just going to send it in the Discord, have someone else read it. Cause, yeah. Like, I, burnt my, I burnt my upper, like, the top of my mouth. And it, it, it's really hard to talk, actually. Like, I'm, str- I'm struggling talking because, like, how much it hurt. Uh, I don't looking, know if I... Uh, I... Huh? No, you know I'll tell them, I won't tell that in the podcast. There's something, there's something really funny that just got messaged to me, but I feel like even in a lost <laughs> episode, I shouldn't say this. But uh, I'll tell you guys later. It's, it's really hilarious. But um, and now everyone's gonna be like, like, what the fuck is he asking? It's hilarious. But um, um, no, my my favorite entitled parents one so far was the one about the sorry, the girl with the DS that so she was babysitting. She had, oh my god. No, it was so long. It was, I'm not gonna try to paraphrase it because it's really long, but I'll have that. I'll have the because R slash did a video on that, like where you read it, and I'll, I'll, I'll link that because uh, it's it's a wall of text otherwise, and uh, I feel that one's more manageable. If somebody re- reads that to you because it's just like basically there was this kid who wanted a DS like that some other girl was playing with, and um, yeah, it just kept going on and on and on and on and on. And, and, like, the police and everything. Yes! Like, the police got involved, and, then like, at first it was just the mom, but then by the end of the story, the dad was there, too, and I'm like, what the fuck? So, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. From all, all that from a DS life. Yes! And, like, mind you, this story didn't take place years ago. Like, even one of the point of the stories was that it was the, the babysitter person's, like, old DS light. So it's, like, an old game to begin with, you know? Um, that, that, that everyone's fighting over. And, uh, yeah, it's just a crazy story. It, it, it was okay. like... Okay. I think I found one that we can read. What is it? It's called, You Don't Deserve This Because You're Privileged. Crazy person tries to steal my stuff. Are we gonna read it? Yeah, I'm gonna put it in the... Cat, I can't see. read. I can't. I can't talk at all. Right now, <laughs> My name is Kunar. I'm, I'm twenty one years <laughs> old. And I never learned how to fucking read. I never learned how to fucking read or talk. Oh, I'm clicking on okay. it. Okay, I'm clicking on it. But just in case, I think I might lose Discord for. No, I didn't. Okay, good. Because Discord uh, usually doesn't like it when I click on things. When it, like, let's see, it's opening though. You don't deserve this. Because you're privileged. Oh my god. This so... one's new. It has, it has 669 upvotes posted nine hours ago by username the Suck Squad, which is a really nice username. I really commend him for that. Okay. Him or her. So my, so my little stepbrother's birthday was Saturday, and it was pretty cool because my grandmother and grandfather um, from California came all the way to North Carolina. Uh, I hate that they didn't capitalize the North in North Carolina. Sorry, that just that's, <laughs> uh, that's triggered me so I much. Mobile. Yeah, I came all the way to North Carolina because I haven't seen them in like two years. And that oh, wait, I haven't seen them two years. And that day, since they got me and my stepbrother's birthdays mixed up, and they got me a Switch and a new PC. Since they are the sorry, I read that because that sentence is needs to be rewritten. Anyways, since they are both the, uh, since they are the best, by the way, thanks, Graham and, and Papa. So I go up to my room and start hooking it up to, start hooking it up to my Switch. Uh, hooking it up to my Switch so I can play the Switch. So I can play the, the computer. Switch. Yeah, sorry. I, I actually can, I actually can read pretty well. It's just that, like, th- this is confusing. This is so dumb. Yeah. Um, because I can't have a small screen with it being two inches away from my face. Um, so my little brother's turning seven, and I hear some kids downstairs. These kids are not fucking seven. <laughs> 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 these, 
kids are not fucking seven. I love this. Um, oh my god. So I think to myself, um, I think to myself, oh well, stepmom invited some kids I know. By the way, I'm 15. Um, so I go downstairs and I see a nine year old, uh, the title kid, and an 11 year old who. Are re- who is re- who are really cool. I'm gonna try to fix some of this grammar to go along. Um, yeah, just fix it. Yeah, because obviously this kid's 15. You know, whatever. We all we all kind of wrote similar to. I don't know. I wrote better than this when I was 15. But I'm, leave it there. Um, we're really cool. But here's the problem. I came down on my switch. I came down with my switch like a complete idiot. And boom, this kid runs up the stairs and screams at the top of his lungs. Entitled kid, do you play Fortnite? Me? No, I don't. Oh no! You have to download like, it. Do you play Fortnite? Yeah, no, I can see that. <laughs> like, I'm no joke. I have like my nieces and nephews who are like, "Do you play Fortnite?" You know, my co- like really small cousins. Yes. Yeah. No, I don't. You have to download it on your Switch so we can get the Switch skin. <laughs> That just sounds so. That, that's, I mean, that's such a Fortnite thing to say, but I didn't know there was a Switch skin. Um, now I don't play Fortnite. I don't even know. I didn't even know that there was a special skin included if you got it on the Switch, because all I got was a thirty-five dollar eShop card from the box. Oh, this is a very recent story because that's the that's the newest promo, by the way. The newest promo yeah. is you get the thirty-five dollar eShop card uh, from the box and another one from uh, from from my grandfather. I've never seen this kid uh, before. Um, so stepbrother either invited some older kids or it was my stepmom who did it. And I was right. It was my stepmom and the entitled mom that she invited was her friend. Entitled mom. Why don't you go play? Um, why don't you go play with uh, Timmy? We'll call him. He's calling him Timmy. Um, I cringed inside. <laughs> I cringed inside. I don't know what to. Uh, I don't. I don't do well with people, especially ones as young as nine years old. But he said, okay. <laughs> um <laughs> Is there a uh, title mom? Is there a problem? She gave me a confused face. No. Yay! I get to play the Switch, and title kid said. And then I walked upstairs, continuing selling, setting up my stuff, and uh, as I do, um, uh, this kid is pretty much on top of me. Uh, then we get to my room, and I swear to God, a whole... I swear to God, his whole his whole head nearly explodes. You have a computer? <laughs> oh my God! I am sorry. No. It's in all caps, and I already kind of saw what was coming. <laughs> you have a computer? Yeah. Do you have Fortnite? <laughs> no. No. Can you I download did. it? <laughs> no, I don't really like Fortnite. No. <laughs> Are you stupid or something? The entitled kid uh, had this face as if he witnessed a whole orphan puppy shelter get burnt to the ground. What the fuck? What did you say? When I spoke to him in that stern... You misspelled stern. When I spoke to him in that stern voice, I swear to God, he nearly shit himself. And after that, I was pretty sure no one in his life had ever raised his voice to him. Uh, nothing, he said. Um, why are you taking so long? Um, after apparently not downloading it. Uh, because this is a delicate process, it takes a long time no matter what. Now, by the way, if you ever set up a switch, it does not take that long. But I'll leave, I'll, I'll let him tell the story. At this point, I was getting really annoyed. Entitled kid said he was leaving. Uh, right now, I felt like God just blessed me with infinite power. This annoying uh, child who looked like a midgetized Freddie Mercury. <laughs> that was an inbred <laughs> LeBron James. What the fuck is this? <laughs> they. This shit gets real. Uh, what's going on up there? Entitled mom says, uh, your kid won't stop annoying me. <laughs> Don't be disrespectful. Entitled mom shouts back. Okay, jeez. Entitled mom, it's okay, baby. You can play up here. Yay! Oh, I yeah. I, I hate it when entitled moms call their kid yeah. baby. Yep. Like, it's, it's funny because oh, I'm actually. Ah. Just... <laughs> uh, so I finished setting everything up and I let him use my switch, but I tell him he can only use it while I'm up here uh, with him. Um, also, he's been playing already for an hour. He plays Mario. Oh, yeah, I haven't played already for an hour. Um, so he plays Mario Odyssey, and I was finishing up on my computer, and then he says I have to use the bathroom. Okay, leave my switch in here. No, I want to use it. No, you can't use it in the bathroom. Leave my switch in here. Then he fucking runs off with my switch. Timmy, what are you doing? Uh, shouts out. Um, who is that? Uh, stepmom. Um, that little shit just stole my switch because I wouldn't let him take it in the bathroom. I was pissed, and I sure as hell uh, was going to let everyone know. Well, where is he now? I look out my glass door in the front of the house and see this kid 
put my switch in his mom's car and lock the car. But apparently, so does uh, so, uh, uh, stepmom. So what follows is awesome. Teresa, get your child. Entitled mom, what's the problem? <laughs> your child just stole his switch, which you mind, which which mind you is four hundred dollars. Oh God, I'm so sorry. Entitled kid, get it right now and give me switch. Then the kid reluctantly came over and had me and handed it to me. Thanks. Now let's rewind a bit because earlier this woman screamed at me uh, to not be disrespectful. So I had suspicion also because when he went over to his mom, he had the biggest grin on his face. The following ensues. I'm downstairs minding my own business, just chilling when I see them go upstairs. So I follow them and find this bitch trying to steal my PC and switch. What the fuck is this story? <laughs> is, this, is this mom like a grand th thief? What the? <coughs> Most of these people get arrested by the end. Okay. What the fuck do you think you're doing? What a, entitled mom, what does it look like I'm what does it look like I'm doing? I'm taking this because you don't deserve this and and you're way too privileged. Those are mine, dumbass! Get away, these are mine now, entitled kid. What the fuck is going on here? I guess it's oh dad. Uh the, like the dad came out of nowhere. Uh then my dad sees that my whole fucking PC in one hand and um Oh, sees that the mom has the PC in one hand, and in title kid has my Switch. By the way, I think PC, I think he's refl referring to a laptop. Because I can't imagine, like... Yeah, I think he's referring to a laptop. Yeah. yeah. Like, the I would never... freaking desktop. And... Yeah, that's what I was thinking, but... too. The monitor. The yeah, keyboard. Yeah, <laughs> like, I, I, I'm pretty sure that the, the, we're talking about a laptop here. Um, then again, no, yeah. nobody, like, you wouldn't really get a kid a desktop anyway in this day and age. Um... Put that back right now, my dad says. Tell her mom, no, they're mine now. You can suck shit at raising children. Wait, you suck shit at raising children. And this one is way too privileged. He doesn't deserve any of he doesn't deserve any of this. My son really wants one of these. How about you get your obese laugh, lazy ass up off your fucking couch, get a job and buy one of them. What the fuck are this and this little kid just puts my switch back where uh, it was and throws the biggest tantrum ever. And I think he put it back very gently because he thought he was go still going to get it. So I grabbed my whole monitor out of... I guess he fucking... She had a fucking desktop. Because she says the monitor. I guess she fucking had a tower and a monitor. Okay, I'm, I'm corrected. I, I just thought he was using the wrong word. But no, apparently... Anyways, out of her hands and... I kick her in the shit as hard as I could. Get your ugly ass and your disgusting child away from my fucking house right now. Wait, who is it? Oh, stepmom. And they both ran out crying. <laughs> well, I don't come out of my room for the next two weeks, and now I lock my door every time I leave. I'm very sorry if you think this isn't true, because while well, some of the ones here are, I hope that you don't think um, think that, though, because honestly, some people are, are just this retarded and crazy. P.S. Fuck you, Teresa. Have a good time getting exposed. Ho! <laughs> What did I just read? What did I just read? That was so wild. That was so wild. I did not expect it to be that wild. Oh, you didn't actually read it. I thought you read it before we no, I you proofread it. Okay. I didn't read it. I just wanted, I just clicked on something random. And I was like, oh, this sounds interesting. I was so wrong. It was so wild. Oh, that, was like, that was all over the place. Like, I don't know how much of that was true and how much of it was it, but I don't know if that was all true. Um, if you watch, like, the, the, the readings on, on YouTube, usually this is what goes on to, by the way. I feel like I could do this now. Because you read the thing, and at the end, when you're all done reading it, you're all like, well, I think OP might have been lying about this, and if they weren't, this, this, blah, blah, blah. So, we'll go on that track. I think, I think at the very least, the second half was made up. Um... The first half sounds like 100% true. Because, like, or at the, the whole very. whole goddamn tower. <laughs> yeah. So that part's my favorite part is that apparently the mom, like, just stole an entire, like, a desktop PC with a monitor. Like, mind you, the monitor would be, would be, like, most likely. Well, not most likely. It'll definitely be flat. We're not, like, 2002 here. But the fucking, uh, the, the, the tower. How the, like, like, I don't know about you, but, like, I don't think I could carry a PC. I, I'd probably break one or the other. Uh, by dropping it, but, um... Oh, God. Is anyone in the chat? I didn't actually look at that. Don't know one watching us? Oh, no. 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 Um, of course no one is. Okay, um, so keep it up. But, uh... But, yeah, that story, that story was all over the place. I don't even know, man. That was insane. But, um... I have another one if you want to read it. No, I think we're good with this our one, entitled... This one has five... This one has 5.5k of books. How new is this story? Let me actually look, look more into this story before. <laughs> it's it's nine hours old. Oh, it's that new. 
Yeah. Dang. The what? The five point five k upboat one that I have up right now is like twenty four hours old. It's almost. funny because we talked about this on a really old episode of like uh, NJ Talks. I think it's the first one. Did I ever to- have I ever told you I have no idea how to really use Reddit? Me neither. Like I, f- I still to this day find it extremely confusing. Why the fuck is a Reddit? Yeah, like, I'm, I'm just so. Also, confused. I'm getting really sleepy. Yeah, we're gonna wrap this up anyway. Um, yeah. Like I don't know if I should mention any of the wrap up shit because it doesn't really matter because I'm not gonna upload this right away. But next week we're doing. Uh, well, I guess I'll say this for posterity's sake. So if it ever gets like put in sequence, you'll know where this fit. Um, next week we're not doing energy. energy I said energy talks. I fucking said it earlier. Next week we're not doing Ultra Podcast Z. We're doing um, uh, Offshore Podcast. So keep an eye out for that. I'm actually I'm actually really glad we're not uploading this because there's things I want to edit and add to it. Um, I'm going to do that. I'm, I'm going to fuck with this a bit. Um, later, obviously. Not, I don't plan to wait so it's that long. But uh, this will definitely not be an upload for the next week or two. But um, but yeah, Offshore Podcast is next weekend. Next weekend, next Tuesday, which is the 27th? I want to yes. say. So yeah, um, we're going to have myself, Konaru, and uh, Julianne on that one. So check that one out. Um, I want to do a lot of things with that podcast. I want to check Julianne first because like... I don't really know where all of us want that podcast to go, but uh, it's a podcast about, about overseas idol. But yeah, but like I don't know how you guys want to do like. like, like right no, I know that, but just hyping everyone up. It is a podcast yeah. about overseas idols, so get hyped. Honestly, um, like, hopefully I, it'll be a good first episode. I know, and honestly, like I, I, I there's a lot of things that I wanted to do in, leaning towards that anyway, so it works out fine. And also. It takes away one of the weeks for Ultra Podcast Z, which I'll be honest, I like doing this more random format or these more topical episodes. But ever since we switched format, oh my god, it's been so hard to like keep this up. Like we did it for like a month and a half, and then like the past two or three months have been so shaky. So uh, maybe with the extra week, maybe with the extra week uh, uh, to plan, I'll get us back on track for uh, when we come back in uh, the beginning of March. Uh, we'll we'll see though. I don't know. I want Sylvia back on, but she's like really salty about those CDs I sent to Max. Did you see that? What? The CDs, the CDs I sent to Max. Oh. Um, I don't know if you read Sylvia's comments, but she was all upset because uh, I, I had promised both of them CDs, but I sent them to Max because I already had her address for eight, for eight, eight of J bullshit, right? So I'm like, oh, this will be a nice mm-hmm. like Christmas thing. Like I, I didn't tell her, obviously. I just sent them. But um, I was I, I couldn't do that with Sylvia, and I didn't want to ask her for her address. Like, not that she wouldn't give it to me. I didn't want to. I wanted it to be like a secret Christmas thing. And uh, I thought Sylvia was joking, but apparently she's really mad at me. So, uh, so she doesn't want to be on the podcast Aww. until I send them to her. Okay. <laughs> so yeah. Then send her them. No, now it's a battle of wills. <laughs> no. oh my God, you're making things more difficult than me. Yeah, now it's a battle of wills. One of us has to give in, and it ain't gonna be me. Um. But anyway, who burped? Can you guess? Konaru. <laughs> we, yo, we need Ren on again. I, I miss her burps. That sounded weird, but you know what I mean. No, oh my god! For... Is Max watching? Because Max legit, like, like not even joking, like exactly as I said that, she liked, uh, uh, she liked the thing about the, off- oh wait, wait, never mind, that's the Offshore podcast. Uh, but she liked something re- right now. Is she watching it? I feel like I shouldn't have mentioned her now. Hi, Matt. Oh my god, we I have we have you. fucking five views. What the fuck? Some people are what watching. Happened? See? She she's she's watching. What the fuck? We just she talked came, about her. She came in she came in because she heard she heard we're talking I know. about her. Max, no joke. Well, at least um, they came in now and not yeah. not before. Um Fun fact: Whoever's watching this episode without, besides Max, is this like five of you suddenly? Um, I'm. This is gonna be a, a lost episode. I'm deleting. This is not a joke. I'm deleting the the Twitch upload, and uh, and uh, yeah, y- y'all are not gonna be able to watch this. So y- you missed some shit. Manuel said you some. Missed. I'm not gonna repeat it because you you need to wait. You need to wait till you get to that. Manuel said some bullshit. <laughs> he said a lot of bullshit. I said a lot of bullshit. <laughs> like we talked about stuff. That I honestly don't think how this episode, like, even if I wanted to put it, 
Because now it's kind of like I think it'll like it'll leave a mystery to what what did he say? Oh, I said some shit. I said some things that somebody could have just taken. Somebody could just done a lot of sound clips, sound clips, and taken them out of context, and I'd be like, oh god, ah, oh, I pulled my ear thing out. That really hurt. Hold on. Anyway. But yeah, no, mind you, Max. We only talked about you like right now because I was mentioning the CDs I sent you. Actually, actually, we weren't talking no, about the whole no. Pod, the whole podcast was about you. Yeah, we, we should talk. We, we just, a good hour and a half. We just talked about your uh, about about you, and then we just like we said some things about you that we just don't want to repeat to your face. No, we're gonna give Max like some crazy that's anxiety. Why, that's why it's a lot. <laughs> but no, that's uh, why it's a lot. we were actually talking about Sylvia and the fact that she's upset that I sent you the CDs and how we thought it was a joke, but apparently she wasn't joking. She's really upset that I sent you the CDs and her. I mean, I have some, I have some for her, but yeah, she's upset. Anyway, anyway, uh, next week we're doing a uh, offshore podcast. I want to get a lot of hosts on that. Like, I don't, once again, I don't know why I'm saying this because, like, this when this is released, this will like that episode will already be out, and even when this is released, it won't be wide released. But um, I want to get a lot of hosts on that, like uh, like all those uh, overseas people, but like from countries that we don't really like get people from. Like whoever speaks English, basically. I'll get some. I'll get some from Peru. I got the hookups. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, uh, I, I've already, I've already been in soft talks with uh, some of the. See, it's it's weird to call. Oh my god, I think that fucking cricket is over here. Um. Are we gonna have the cricket on the podcast? Yeah, the cricket podcast. Um, but no, I want to get some Chinese like uh, idol people as well. So um, so we'll Ooh, look into that. Yes. Like um, like I don't, I don't mean like. Well, maybe that too, but I don't mean like uh, as in like an established idol. Maybe some older Demisa dancers, things like that, that we're already in talks with. Um, sorry. I want to get someone from I do do Sanzai. So yeah. Yeah, oh, I do do Sanzai. Um, I have a lot of ideas for that, and obviously we'll have uh like our usuals on like Heidi and like Sylvia when she eventually gets over the fact that I gave Max the CDs and <laughs> and so on. But yeah, in case you're wondering, I've, I've actually asked Sylvia to be on the podcast many times this entire year, and I really don't, I really, and she's even told me, like, it's not that she can't be on because of scheduling, she's just mad at me because of the CDs, and we're both, well, she, <laughs> I'm too stubborn to give in to her and just send them to her, and she doesn't want to be on until I give them to her, so we're in a battle of the wills. Um, Disgusting. Yeah. Hit up Bunny Kasumi? Kasui. Who's Bunny Kasui? Oh! Oh, I know you're talking about. Oh, I love her. Yeah. I talk to her all the time, actually. <laughs> um, so we'll see. That's the thing we want to do, and then uh, we'll see how that goes. Fun fact: I was I was so hoping to get to episode 100 this year of uh, of Ultra Podcast Z. I don't think we can now because of like the the timing. But whatever, I don't really care. Um, on that note, I think we're gonna we're gonna cut it off there. Um, our culture interview is being translated. Like it, it's really fun. I meant to put the snap. Actually, I can probably do that right now. We we uh we did some we, we we took some snaps of her, and they look like street snaps. They're so cute. Let me find them. Let me what? See. Yeah, let me uh. I want to do photography for Kodo. I want to be that cool. <laughs> Let's see. Manual, hook me up. Go to Japan and like go 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 uh take pictures of her. Okay. Why won't the folder open? But, I love um, you, Max. Don't don't be sad. Be glad. Like the like the bags. <laughs> oh god, that was so bad. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh my god, I loaded a picture on accident. Oh, you know what? Everyone is watching that too. First of all, it's sideways. Sorry, I can't really fix that word from my angle. But um, but that picture, we're it's not that we're not allowed to use them, but we decided like us and management that we're not going to use those pictures. That one I showed you from inside the restaurant. Because um, the lighting was so bad. So y'all got to see something that we're not going to show anyone else. Oh, yeah. The lighting is pretty bad. I just saw it. Oh, my God. Can I, can I flip would... this? I can't flip it. God damn it. Actually, I might be I might be able to fix it if like, no, I mean, you want to hook me up with the Raws. I can't flip this from... Uh... So everyone just do this. Look at these cute street snaps. Um, I can't flip that from, from, from XSplit. And uh where's the one where's the other one? Like Oh that's so cute. I love that one. That's such a cute And look at this one with her and Tiffany. Let me see if this loads. Oh it covered me! It fucking covered me. Okay, that's fine. Look at this one with her and Tiffany. It's like... 
I mean, it's funny because we always joke that her and Tiffany look so alike. So uh... it's because they're twins. You know no, that? yeah, it's like, and she's been told that by they like. Are uh, I forgot she was. I, I forgot what live she went to the first day she went there. Like it wasn't a cultural live; it was someone else's live. And um, she was talking to some random idol fans about like going there for Koto, and then they're all like, "Oh, that makes sense. You look a lot like her." <laughs> like some random woda for some other idol group <laughs> told her that she like I don't think she knows them. They told her like, "Oh yeah, you look just like her." So yeah. Um, I got compared to this one idol that's in Akihabara backstage pass. Like uh, Haley sent me a photo of her, and I was really scared for like a couple of days. Because she looked exactly like me. I should find that picture. It was really scary. Oh, yeah. Well, Max, I'm not deleting this episode. I'm going to, like, put it for, like, patrons only. And I, I plan to upload it, like, years from now. Like, um, there are some episodes of A to J Talks that are legitimately lost. Because, like, I thought I thought Rose had them and Rose thought I had them. So we both deleted them. And none of us had them. So they're gone forever. But, um, anyway. So, yeah, Max will never know what we said. Like, all that hour and a half we talked about her. And all the horrible <laughs> things. No, don't give her that anxiety. I'm going to tell you what. Just message me, Max. I'll tell you what we talked about. I'll give you the <laughs> No, just tell her the truth. Don't, don't lie to her and, like, make up shit. She needs to know that we talked about it for an hour and a half. No, I'm telling her the real tea. And you, you can, can suck my dick. <laughs> I'm going to go and I'm going to message her and tell her what we really talked about. And we'll see what she believes. <laughs> no, don't do not do that to her. No, I'm not that I'll much I'll tell you what we talked about, Max. Um, But no, I, I, no joke, I really did say some crazy shit. That's not even joking. Yeah, it was actually really crazy. I, and like some of the topics we accidentally stumbled into were like, why are we talking about this for so long? Yeah. Yeah. And then some of the shit I was reading out loud and saying, I'm like, why are we talking about this still? Um, Why would I believe Manuel? Thanks. Thanks. God. Anyway. Exactly. Who would believe Manuel? Anyways, next Tuesday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I'm going to tweet to everyone that y'all missed uh, one of the the most quotable episodes ever. There was some tea spilled and there was some there was some stories we talked about and uh Ooh, Manuel said some things. Uh, <laughs> oh, man. Anyway, on that note, the only reason I'm stalling is I want to leave it with something even funnier, but I can't think of what to say that won't, like... I think I can say it top what I said earlier, though, I feel. Um, yeah, no. Yeah. Oh, I showed this guy, which is probably another reason we can't show it again, the, the penis plush guy. You know what? This will be the thumbnail. I'm going to blur him out. I probably should blur him now because I don't want to blur the whole... It's actually really hard to blur like you know the video like that when I'm moving it. That's not... Oh, I can't believe I did that. Anyway, th- stop moving it like that. Anyway, penis guy. He says bye. <laughs> Jasmine's like, Manuel, stop. <laughs> Seriously, just stop. <laughs> Jasmine's done with my shit. Anyway. Uh, okay. So anyways, on that note, lovely note. Uh, bye, Max. Bye, whoever... Bye, other lurker peoples. I know there's at least more than one. There's another one of you in there. So yeah, bye, lurker guy. Um, I oh, especially, girl. I especially Don't dedicate. I think de- I dedicate. Well, guy in the in the in the non-gender California and like you know. I'm just kidding. <laughs> anyway, um, like, like or like, dude, later, dude. Like everyone's a dude. But uh, bye, guys. Bye. On that note, yes, bye. Shout, a special shout out goes to that one guy who came in during the really crazy part and then like was there yeah I was there for a few minutes and left shout out to shout he, out to gonna, you bro like, he's gonna talk about yes. this with his friends he's gonna like I saw this on oh, Twitch and he's not gonna be able to find the episode I know <laughs> bye bye guy you, you'll never know you'll never know <laughs> oh my god fucking chrome open hold on hold on okay bye bye for real god damn <laughs> I'M WAVING THE PENIS THROUGH! <laughs>